Like wow, baby wants entertainment. Entertainment. Entertain. Enjoy entertainment, baby. <laughs> Entertain me, human. Entertain. Me, Enjoy streamer. toy, mummy. Bye for you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy toy, mummy. Bye for you. <laughs> you ever watch Monster Factory? Do you watch those videos? No, I haven't, but. <laughs> That was funny. Oh my god, at the very least, you should watch, like, the, the Final Pam one, the ones where they play, like, Fallout, because they did, like, three episodes with just that character, because they loved her so much. She was the like Final a Pam. So... In the while in chat. I've been getting in and out recently, just because... Sorry if this is TMI for stream, but I'm it's my womanly time of the month. So uh, yeah. No, I, I literally like, like I I barely stopped. <laughs> yeah, no, so I've been like ravenously demanding in and out for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. That's just that's just what I want. Crazy, crazy. And so, so I've been getting um flying Dutchmans, which are the bird like they're just meat and cheese like that's it mm -hmm. and then at first i was just eating them like that and then i realized like i need a little bit of something something like i need crunch i need something so then i've been eating them with like a side of tomato and lettuce so like Ooh. i'm literally eating like a lettuce and tomato salad on the side of like my cheesy patty <laughs> and that's what i've been eating at in and out 
Why don't you just eat a burger? No, exactly. Exactly. I don't know, Jesse. I don't know, but that's not what I want. I don't want a burger. I you want, want a deconstructed burger. I want a deconstructed burger with spread grilled onions, a side of lettuce and tomato, and drenched in ketchup. That's what I want. Lol. I have this man that I've been drawing for Gary, and uh, last time I streamed, I, I colored him in. Here's him colored in. And what I need to do now is I need to do a uh, battle damaged variant. And he has Deadpool power, so he was like, go ahead and make it gross. Like, like do whatever you want. You know? And so, uh, I'm working on, like, that variant today. I gotta line it, though. Hey, yeah, very uh, fun. Yeah. I feel like that's different than your huge, which usually consists of cute, cute girls. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's it's a blessing, you know. I I'm glad to get to draw something different. Oh, I'll get copy. You to draw something different. Oh no! Let me to send you my list of sexy men. <laughs> that, that, again, <laughs> like I just for improvement's sake, like I've I've been in a rut art wise, you know. Oh. So like, while this guy was a, a struggle to do because he's not really my comfort zone. Uh, I do think I'm better for it, you know. I'm glad that I got to draw him and do my best. It's something different to look at, too. I should make a, a copy. There we go, okay. Noelle said, Sophie, commission me sexy men. I dare you. You're not gonna trick me into giving you money? <laughs> Why don't you just draw me, sexy man? How dare you? How dare you try to try to highway robbery me? <laughs> you just try to scam artist me. Oh god, like, like those artists you. that pop into your DMs and they're like, I draw you thing, and it's like, I don't want thing from you. I mean I would love things from Noel, but mm -hmm. But now that you've now that you've asked me, now I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Noel. I'll commission you. I just don't know what. I'm just gonna artist you. No scams. <laughs> what what does that mean? That's an ominous way to use. The word artist? Why is it a verb? What's happening? When when did when did this become a verb? What does it mean? Is he gonna draw on you? Is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> I saw this guy on on TikTok say like, "Hey, you know what you should do next time like you someone comes into your comment section uh, and says like, oh yeah, um." AI could do this way better. He was like, "You know what you do? You draw them pregnant." And make your AI do that. <laughs> who was it? Was it you who went on Twitter? Or someone? I swear it was someone in our friend group. Or someone showed it to me. Someone in our friend group showed it to me. Where it's like, if this tweet gets a certain amount of likes, I'll draw Chuck E. Cheese pregnant or something. That was not me. <laughs> I swear, you must have liked it or like... Or, like, retweeted it or something, because I remember seeing it and being like, Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I retweeted something like that. That sounds like something I'm like, retweet. if you pay me $500 or whatever, like, I'll draw anything. Like, I'll even draw Chuck E. Cheese pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, for $500? May as well. Can't argue with that. Are so good, guys. I'm in heaven. <laughs> God 
certain the ouchy cravings. For real. And it's hitting. I love it when it hits. It sucks when you're craving something. And then it doesn't hit. Yeah! And you're like, man, I wanted this so bad. It's not even good. Yeah. And I just feel sick. Like, and like, unsatisfied. Hungry? Yeah, it's like, as much as you're not hungry, because you're so unsatisfied, you're like, you still want to eat. Eh. I had microwave nachos earlier. Uh, it hit more than I thought it would, to be honest. Yeah, I've microwaved, like, my leftovers from, like, Albert's. It's pretty good. No, I mean, like, literally just, like, shredded cheese on top of tortilla chips. Oh, still good. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I'm surprised that it kind of hit. Thought it'd be gross. Food hits different in Ramadan. Everything tastes better. I imagine so. It's like, uh, whenever I went to camp, uh, I, I was always fucking ravenous. Uh, so, like, lunchtime always hit. I don't even think the food was that good, but just so hungry all the time from so much, like, exercise. That the, the food always was, like, amazing at camp. Makes sense why I like, like, lunch food. Like, high school lunch food. So many people would tell me about how, like, disgusting our lunch was. Dude, I loved our school lunch. Like, not only would I eat mine, I would then proceed to eat Ellie's. <laughs> like... <laughs> I, I definitely right, put up with my I my school like... food, but I think once I reached like senior year, I was like, it, it, I had like an, I had enough of it. I I went to the burger line exclusively after that. I don't know. I yeah, no. I just I always liked like school lunch. I never. I never found it gross or disgusting. I found it, like, unseasoned, I suppose. Like, I just... I didn't, like... It wasn't like, mmm, yummy, this burger is spiced to, per to perfection. But it was definitely like, mmm, that's pretty good. Like, I could eat this. In fact, I'll eat another. Like, Ellie, mm. let me have yours. <laughs> and then she'll be like, sure. <laughs> well, that's cool. I have this memory of, uh, one time, uh, when I was with my grandma... Uh, there was a, like, a 4th of July, like, fireworks event, right? And they had catering, of course. Uh, and so we went to, like, the, the pizza truck. And I almost threw up. Because the pizza, I realized, tasted exactly like our school pizza. And I had never had, like, that <laughs> taste outside of school. It was, and, like... I guess once you're in school and you're eating it every day, you're just, like, used to it. But because it was the summer... Like, I hadn't had it in a while, and I just was like, this is so gross, and I never ate that pizza ever again, <laughs> not even at school. <laughs> we are like, foul! Absolutely foul! Foul! Our school lunch is fire, that's great. Chicken pot pie was really good for lunch day. Or for lunch today. Guys had... Also, I forgot to answer Noel's question. Uh, about what I would theoretically have you draw. Um, I would have you draw. I would have you draw a sundae, but instead of ice cream, it has to be a cute dog. Aww. So a little dog sundae. A little, That's little like. sundae poodle. I'm imagining sundae a poodle, poodle frankly. I was imagining a corgi, but <laughs> that oh, a corgi too. would anyway. also be cute. Yeah, it'd be it would be an ice cream sundae, but oh. instead of instead of ice cream, it'd be a dog. Oh, but he still has to be in like the little bowl and everything. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it was like this at, at Warren, but I know uh, for me at Hoover, um, there were three different lunch lines. There was the, the main lunch line, which was what was in the cafeteria, and it was different every day. And then the two out outside lunch lines, which had, like, pizza and, like, chicken sandwiches. Like, like crappy, like, like microwave things, you know, like, like freezer foods. 
exactly and, like Warren. <laughs> yeah, and then there was the burger line, and so you could go get a burger over there, and they were like, I you, you could see the them line. like frying them. Yeah, I do remember the burger line. Oh, okay, so Hoover and Warren were the same. Yeah. I never went inside the cafeteria, like the, the food that changed every day. I was I was terrified. I would. Especially if it was like, like ravioli day. And then they added at some point inside the cafeteria, they added like essentially a Chipotle like burrito line. I mean again, the ingredients were nowhere near as good and as seasoned as Chipotle, but it was uh -huh. like literally a Chipotle line. Like that's what it oh. was. It, they would make you a burrito, you they would ask you if you wanted beans. Like there wasn't any different types of stuff. Like it's not like, oh, do you want white or brown rice? Like, oh, do you want pinto or black beans? But it would basically just be like, Hey, do you want beans? Hey, do you want rice? Do you want cheese? Do you want like chicken? And I'd be like, Yes, yes, give me all of it. I want it give all. We only had one line for my whole school. I mean, as long you said that the food was good, though, so like, there's there's that at least. You didn't have as much choice, but you got better quality food overall. I wonder if that's an American schoolism. Like, is that? Oh my god! You know what I've been dying at? Hmm. Um. There are these. Speaking of Americanisms. Um. Ooh, Matt's here. I... Say hi to Matt Toon. Hi, Matt. Mr. Toon. First name Matt, last name Toon. <laughs> okay, what, what were we saying? Um, is there has been like this trend. I think it's funny that everyone continues to mess with Americans knowing that like we're petty assholes. Um, so people have been like traveling to America and it's like this trend, I guess, to like make fun of American like portions and stuff like so to make fun of like doing like dude like this freaking burger is ridiculous like why is it so big or like um they'll go to like uh costco's or something and they'll be like who eats this much cereal like who needs 42 cans of soda like this is why americans are fat like blah 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 and so they'll and so like it's been it's been like a bunch of americans basically clapping back not even just being one of those people who are like well at least we don't have them. Like you guys are fucking idiots like it's a wholesale store the reason why you can buy 42 cans of coke is because it is for wholesale like go to a regular grocery store you idiot like mm -hmm. Or, like, people will put their hands next to, like, soup and be like, oh, my God, the American portions are so big. And then someone will literally, like, stitch it and be like, I've been to that restaurant. You ordered a family size soup. That's why it's so big. You're dumb. I love that. <laughs> I love, the like, the fact checks. Yeah. And so people have been, like, fact checking all these, like, annoying, mostly Europeans, but, like, uh, like annoying Europeans that are like... Um, why is your food so big? Like, this is why Americans are fat. <laughs> yeah. I like the ones where they're like, why don't, or why don't Americans, like, uh, walk more? And then they come visit America, and then they're like, oh, that's why. Yeah, because it's impossible to get around. Mm-hmm. Well, at least! <laughs> Fucking British ones are so mean. They're not even trying to, like, give an intelligent, like, callback. They're just no. like, you're British, fuck you. Imp opinion Which invalid. Which honestly is valid. If you're British, I'm sorry to any British people in chat, but if you're British, you automatically lose. Like, you've already lost just by being British. They're just jealous we get more food. I feel called out. Smiley fries, the fries that smile back. I've had those like once, and they were good. Yeah. I love that, like the, the fucking. Well, at least! <laughs> Our schools! Wait, and then I love how everyone's like, shut, shut up, you're British. In mathematics! In mathematics! Yeah. No, I love that people are like, shut up, you're British. <laughs> like, I don't want to hear it. Mm. And then I once saw this really funny post that it was something like, um, I hate being an American. Oh my god, I just fell like millions of feet down 
I hate Minecraft. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> you Minecrafting? I'm Minecrafting. While I wait for Mr. Twan to come stream zombies. He took too long. I already finished all my food. Oh no. Now I have... Well, I still have a shake. I guess I could drink oh. my shake. Um I was I was mining in Perler Gang server. I made a mine shaft. I didn't I haven't reached diamond yet, but I will. I know, I just I was on my personal I was gonna play on Parlor Gang right now, but then I was like, oh let me wait until to make progress on a stream or something. Mm -hmm. Unless I don't know if you're gaming tomorrow or what you're gonna game tomorrow. I am gaming tomorrow and I didn't wanna stream Amori again, so I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I wanted to do more Minecraft, but I wasn't sure if you would join me, so I was like mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm down for Minecraft. All right, um, well. I'll check my schedule because I don't know if I close tomorrow. That's why I wasn't in stream yesterday is because I was closing. Mm -mm. Um, oh, I'll double check my schedule in just a little bit. And I'll see whether or not I can I can hop on. Yeah, thanks, Matt. If I do, I probably won't be home until four, though. So you might have to start stream without me. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Now let me know that they can plan accordingly. Yeah, in fact, actually, I'll just check right now. So it's nothing to do. Oh my god, I hate random pits in the floor! Oh <laughs> god, they're gonna kill me! You're marching along and then you're like, ah! <laughs> no, literally, and then I just freaking fall flat on my face. <laughs> and I'm like, oh lord! I think someone yesterday was like, I like the way you draw teeth, and I'm like, thank you. I enjoy <laughs> drawing teeth. One. Kind, <laughs> but odd. What is this raid? What is happening? I, I think it's just as raid? odd that I enjoy drawing teeth, you know? She said teeth. And then Noel called me teeth girl. Ah, he said it again! He said it again! Why are you saying that there's a raid? Oh, that's what you mean by there's a raid. Alright, pillagers. You will not touch this village. I've always wanted to make like a Attack on Titan style wall around a village. Uh, and then like start a raid to see if that worked. <laughs> like what, what do they do if there's a wall around the village? Will they try to penetrate the wall? No, they'll just get sniped! I think it's happened before on like my personal server where like they tried to raid but I had already set up like a like a freaking wall everywhere. Um, and they don't, they don't, like they just stay outside, you know? Like they don't... Oh, uh, so you've, you've already tried this experiment. Yeah, just not on purpose. Like I didn't purposefully. Um, but they just, like, stay outside the wall, they, like, try and shoot you, but, like, I just, because of years of watching Minecrafters, I know that there's, like, a specific way to build a wall that makes it so, like, you can see your enemies through the wall, but you don't, like, they can't hit you. Uh -huh. um, it's like you have to put, you have to put, like, fences on top of a, on top of a block, and then you put a slab on top of that, that way they can't, um... Um, so, like, nothing can spawn on the wall, and you can still see through the wall, but they can't yeah. shoot you through the wall. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, is that a pirate ship? Is that a village? I can't tell. Um, point is, I had just built that entire thing, and then, obviously, one day the pillager came, and I was like, what's happening? <laughs> like... And you killed them all, and you got Hero of the Village, and then they you got got things on sale for the rest of your playthrough. <laughs> I was gonna say life, yeah. but... This drawing is starting to gross me out, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but let's continue. <laughs> like, ugh, Jesse, muscles. Think of the money, Jesse. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, damn you, Versera. She said, "Ew." 
I remember an artist I follow once, like, had this similar thing of, like, I want to learn how to draw gore, and then they're like, I want to barf every time I try. <laughs> I know, every once in a while, like, I'll watch, like, uh, not watch, but, like, I'll see horror, horror artists just kind of, like, do the thing. And it's nice, like, I, I like it in a weird way. Not in a creepy way, I guess. That makes it sound like I have a weird, like, fetish, but I just mean, like, it's well done. Yeah. But then I think about it, and I'm just kind of like, how odd is it to, like, draw this? Like, especially because, like, sometimes it's, like, super messed. And I mean, I guess the same thing could be said about NSFW, right? Especially when it's, um, specific, like, particularly, like, uh, like, I don't know, juicy, let's say, oh. I guess. I'm just like, I'm just like, is this not odd to just be sitting in your room and being like, her needs more <laughs> like i have heard nsfw artists like express that where it's like the the amount of time that you're you're horny for what you're drawing is very short and then you're kind of quickly just man. like yeah and now you're just like ah damn anatomy <laughs> yeah like at some at what point are you just like man this sucks <laughs> Oh my god, there are villages everywhere around here. What did I tune into? I'm sorry, Antoine. Just talking about how, like, when you're drawing things, like... Some people get, like, desensitized to it, and then some people are like, This sucks. <laughs> I don't want to be drawing this. I know that's how I am. I'll be like, you know, I'm not enjoying this. I'm gonna do something else. Like, uh, when when Zeke wanted me to draw like that, like Ahigao, like um, emoji. I went into it thinking like, oh, it's not that big a deal. I can draw this. And like, as I was going, I was like, I hate this actually, and I don't want to draw this anymore. Take your money back. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, no, that was the time. Mm. Ah, I see, I see, yeah. Not a very, not a very PG-13 topic, I, I apologize. No. But also, How I'm drawing- dare you? <laughs> But also I'm drawing blood and guts, so... Well, I'm not really drawing any guts, I'm drawing muscles, but still. I actually like the blood, it reminds me of paint for some reason. I like blood in general? The concept of blood? Zomboy. Yes, because I'm defective. <laughs> I think we'll leave him like. Ooh, bleh. Bleh, bleh. I don't know, just blood. <laughs> Here, wait, I'll just like. Is it a mod? It's a mod, huh? To find specific biomes? Um, like there's no like there's no vanilla Minecraft cheat to find a biome. I think there is, isn't there? No, yeah, no, that's listen, vanilla. That's vanilla, yeah. No, you could search. Because I'm playing vanilla Minecraft, and I don't want to cheat, but I also really want a cherry blossom biome, and I will travel a million blocks to find one, but I want one. Use slash locate biome. Slash. Locate. Biome. Okay. 
could not find could not find it within a reasonable distance. What does that mean? Maybe you should turn up your chunks. How far is this biome, dog? You know the thing, Sophie, that you can do too. Um because like in the in the world that you're you're doing, like you haven't set up a base yet, right? No, not yet. You can just put in a seed, like when you start. You just have to copy paste it into your world when you're creating it. Yeah. It means you better walk. You better start walking, bozo. <laughs> Fucking Antoine. <laughs> He's oh. not wrong. Better Jesus Christ. Render distance, simulation distance. I don't know what that means. Biome blend. Um, yes, I know that you can input a seed. Um, it was more just because, like, again, I, I wanted to I wanted to just play, like, regular vanilla Minecraft, you know? And I understand that putting in a seed is not cheating, obviously, but it's just, like, like, I, I don't know, like, I just started a world, and I was like, I'm just gonna play, play Mince Raft. And I was just like, oh, cherry blossom biomes, like, let me... Like, I'm sure I'll find one, and then I think that was when... They first came out, so, like, Antoine let me know. He's like, I hope you realize that they're, like, incredibly rare. And I was like, well, that means I'm just gonna start Parlor Gang off in, in a Cherry Blossom biome, because mm -hmm. I'm not doing all that. You know... Yeah, I like modern Minecraft, too. I just like, I don't know, I just, I also just really like the simplicity of vanilla Minecraft. As much as vanilla Minecraft is not as simple as it used to be. Yeah, also, same. not I, in I a, think like, whiny I've, I've, I've never modded Minecraft, and I don't think you really need to, honestly. I've never played Minecraft, and I was like, man, if only this was modded. Or as like with Stardew Valley, like I've at this point finished so much of the game so many times that like modding really is the only way to have fun. Yeah, the only way to I wouldn't even say the only way to have fun, it's just like makes life easier, just in general. Mm -hmm. Whereas like when it comes to Minecraft, I, I can still enjoy vanilla Minecraft. Mostly because it's like grindy, I guess. Right? Like if you're trying to build a house, you gotta and go cut down the trees, then come back, then I build a little bit of your house, then go out, <laughs> get the trees. Modding gives the game a second chance, a new life. I have never oh. beaten vanilla Minecraft, neither have I. I think I have with Antoine? Maybe? Or, no, oh, you know what? Well, it was with it was the meme office. I'm pretty sure he did it with the meme office. Gross. Yeah. That server doesn't even exist anymore. Well, I'm pretty sure it exists, but I don't... I refuse to touch it. <laughs> I mean, it, it exists in, like, a literal sense, as in, like, there is still a server. Yeah. Like, I'm sure that I could access it. I just would not want to touch it, because out of fear that, like... It's still in use, which it probably isn't, right? But I would just, like, be terrified to go into it and then be like, Oh. Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> they built a fuck you, Sophie monument. Oh. Oh, my God. My Pikachu pixel art. Did I ever finish it? I don't think I did. No, not the Pikachu pixel art. Were you- no, it was Frida. Frida was the one with the rainbow hobo tent. <laughs> I 
I was trying to make like a minecart system in uh, the nether and then you guys yelled at me for wasting iron. Did we? I don't remember that, but I, I believe it you. It might not have been I you. It was probably like 2D or something. Ah, damn it. You Name said... Was... God damn it. Name mention. <laughs> have you seen those TikTok comments where it'll be... It's usually in excitement, not in... Not in upsetness but it's usually like hey yo the philippines mentioned <laughs> like <laughs> i like those memes or it's like something like vaguely niche and then people just get really excited when it gets mentioned mm -hmm. doxed dox mention it happening and I remember who it was um, but it was people that you said um, again we won't say names but yeah I remember who it was and I remember it, like being kind of just like dude why like why are you so upset like the whole point of Minecraft is to mine and get and craft like Especially because, like, at the time, we were sharing most of our resources anyways. Like, it wasn't like, oh, this was my resource chest. Mm -hmm. Like, you just grabbed from the communal area. And I was like, yeah, like, that was what the iron was for. Like, if you want more, then let's go play the game. Like, let's yeah. go mining. <laughs> I mean, the mine on that server was insane. Like, I was scared of it. <laughs> yeah, no, we got really lucky with that spawn. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't give for the seed. <laughs> Take that out of context. Take that out of context. What I wouldn't give for the seed. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> right and pinned. No! Hang on, I have to be the one to do it. <laughs> Oh, dang it, I already had another iron pickaxe. I hate it here. I was about to craft one. Flipped, bozo. No. No. My dignity. I keep peeking my mic by accident. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not coming through on Discord. Okay, that's good. Discord's like, I got you, fam. Thanks, Discord. Do Appreciate kids still you. say fam? I sometimes say fam. But do the kids say fam? I don't think the kids are saying fam. I think the kids are saying, like... What do we say now, kids? Tell me. Kid, kids, what are we saying? <laughs> What's the word? What's the haps? What's your major... <laughs> <laughs> You're major. <laughs> this man wants to be painted so bad, I have to keep fighting the urge to paint him. He's like, wouldn't it look Sometimes nice though? And I'm like, shut up! No, I'm kind of old. I'm, I'm. I don't think I actually. I think I technically count as a millennial on paper, even though I am more. I am more Gen Z than I actually am a millennial, in terms of like personality and trends and stuff. Because you were but born on the say, last year of the '90s. Yeah, um, I will say though, however, that I am still a fan of say of like using old slang, like. Like, I remember when you used to say swaggy. You yeah. used that one for a while. Sometimes I say poggers. Sometimes I still use the term poggers. I mean, I've only heard family fam used sarcastically. This combo again. That sound like parents trying to sound cool in front of the kids. I am cool. Don't need to try to sound cool in front of the kids.
Poggers will never get old. Poggers, I think, is really funny. Like, I don't think Poggers will ever not be funny. Specific I think specifically we were talking about Warren once, where he was like, dude, that is so not Poggers. That <laughs> <laughs> will forever be so funny to me. It's such a stupid word to use, seriously. No, literally. But just for him to be like, dude, that is so not Pog. And I think he was talking about King Louie from the from the live action Jungle Book. And he was talking about how King Louie was really scary. And he's like, dude, why is he so realistic? <laughs> King Louie is so not Poggers. <laughs> can fucking miss that kid. He's at my dad's house. I miss him. Oh. I miss him. Free the I want child. him back. Give, Give him back. Child, wipe away. <laughs> Give us the child. Wipe away the debt. <laughs> oh my, my god! Friends say I miss fatty. Having... I don't know if that's friends. what it's referring to. I don't know if I. I know exactly what that's referring to, Truzer. You're not slick with that one. You could pick up um. the context clues. Hmm, I don't know, sorry. I guess, uh, th let me rephrase the question. If if someone's saying, like, nah, fam, you know, just, just saying fam casually, does that automatically, like, does it have the same energy as saying groovy, you know? Like, once something reaches groovy status, like, you gotta retire it. Hello, fellow funny. kids. If I... Like, if someone unironically used the word groovy, I feel like I would find that endearing. Like, I'd Well, because like, at so this point, it's, like, wrapped back around to being cool again. It's it's so old now. That it's, that it's endearing rather than cringe? Yeah. Radical. I mean, I say rad a lot. I like sweet. I know sweet- mm -hmm. I, I don't know if sweet ever fell out of favor. But I like the, like, oh, sweet. I think sweet's kind of, like, awesome, where it's, like, just kind of lives forever. Forever. I'd much rather say groovy. It sounds way cooler. Mathematical. <laughs> Math I do say funky a lot. But do you say funky, funky in, like, a fun. good way or funky in a bad way? I usually say funky in a bad way. I say funky in a good way. I'm like, dude, that's funky. Mm -hmm. Or, like, maybe not in a, I, I, I guess, a neutral way. Like, sometimes I'm like, I don't know, dude, like, that's kind of funky. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, no, so, sometimes they use funky I, in a good way. It, Never mind. It's so, it's a, it's a multi-use word. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I usually use funky as an equivalent for the word weird. Where, like, again, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily mean something bad. It just means, yeah. like, oh, weird. Like, yeah, that's, that's a good synonym. Because you're like, oh, yeah, he's like a funky little guy, you know? And, like, you yeah, mean that positively. But then you're like, oh, that's, that's kind of funky. I don't know, like... Like, yeah. oh, like, he's texting his ex? That's kind of funky. Like... Mm -hmm. Yo, I like your funky groove, my guy. I probably have unironically used that sentence in the past, like, year. <laughs> I'm a funky little guy. Yes, you are. We can all agree that Noelle is a funky little guy. Frida's stance on the word bitchin. I've never used bitchin in a sentence, personally. Yeah, I, think it's I don't- it's too I don't strong. Like... It's just like, it doesn't make- I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't don't because I guess I, it doesn't I, I've never used it as an I'm... adjective of like it's be it's a better verb where you're like yeah they were bitching about it you know yeah exactly like I think as a yeah as an adjective it do it doesn't make it doesn't make sense to me mm hmm
Bones, bones. Reminds me of Argyle from Stranger Things. Is that is that I haven't seen Stranger Things in forever. I don't know if there's a character how to pronounce that name. It looks like the word Argyle. Argyle, yes, correct. Okay. I can't spell things, but I sure can pronounce them, I guess. I mean, Stranger Things takes place in the 80s, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure. It's a good show. I fell off, like, season three. Um, I don't know when I fell off, but I did at least see the first two seasons. Yeah, not because it was bad. More just, like, I, I things very rarely leave my, like... Um, things very rarely keep my interest for very long, just in general. Mm-hmm. Especially when things are, like, so spread, like, spread so far apart. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, it's not like... Yeah, it makes it easy to fall things. off. Yeah, because, like, then at that point, I don't particularly care. Yeah. Um, no, I said same, Sophie. I was done and just kind of didn't want more. I was satisfied after three seasons. Yeah, and then obviously I think another thing too, like a, this sounds like a strange reason I guess, but then another reason why I end up not really liking shows that go on too long is because then we've reached the point where they have to start killing off characters because at this point like people don't, like that's why ever since like Endgame, like for Marvel, I stopped watching Marvel movies, not because I don't like Marvel, but just because like at this point like I want to watch Captain America and I want to watch my Captain America, like I don't want to watch uh, like the Falcon, the Falcon. Who is now, yeah, who's like now Captain America. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to watch that person. Like, I want to watch Steve Rogers. Like, I want to, like, I want to watch Robert Downey Jr. Like, that's who I want to see. Yeah, same. I, I tr tried. I've been giving Marvel movies a chance. Uh, I've been disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think I think generally I don't <coughs> I don't dislike um like the recent Marvel movies, depending on which ones I've seen. But it's more like I just no longer care that You're much. Not invested anymore. Walking Dead syndrome. Everyone dies on repeat. Yeah, yeah. I that is actually exactly why I stopped watching The Walking Dead was when Carl died because. It kind of felt oh, like what? Carl was the yeah no and the I I know the reason he died was more of an out of show reason which was so like he didn't oh, want to do this anymore wait no I do remember this I remember this yeah but like Carl to me felt like the point of the show it was like you a know? coming of age story for him. N no, like the the what's the point of surviving? What's the point of moving on? You know, trying to live through the zombie apocalypse. I I'd, I'd say it's you know, for son, for next generation, for making things better for humanity again. You know, and I feel like to me, like that's what like Carl was like kind of representing. So like I feel like. It would have been better to just end the show rather than kill Carl and move on. But I guess there was more comic material to to adapt. More Carl. Coral. 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 I think making this big red splotch might have been a bad idea. Endgame felt like an event. That was the last Marvel thing I watched. Walking Dead nowadays... Uh, or Walking Dead, the show, only value... Only value nowadays is Rick Grimes going from the man in desperate survival situation to becoming a monster who deals uh, death without mercy. Rick the goat. Is that what he's been up to lately? Yeah, is that what he's, is that what he's doing? What that funky guy's doing? That's a shame. 
Whatever happened to the little girl character that, like, Negan wanted? What's she up to? People that watch <laughs> The Walking Dead. What's the little girl up to? She, she like, an adult now? I feel like she's been on that show for so long. Was that Judith? I don't remember. I've never seen The Walking Dead. Oh, you've never seen The Walking Dead? Ah, damn it. Yeah. I know, my mom was really into it, so, like, I know some of the characters. I got Ellie into it, and they got really invested in it. I still, uh, think about, uh, the way that they, um... Like, documented their reactions to episodes. Like, they basically started doing this little series of doodles. Like, they, they would just draw, like their feelings about the show like 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 live blogging their reactions that's funny i think i think some of those doodles are like on their instagram somewhere deep in the bowels of their instagram Rick bit out one man's throat savagely in one episode. It's quite fascinating, but the show never dies. There's like five spin-offs. Oh yeah, I've seen a little bit of Fear the Walking Dead. Um, and then it kind of I I feel like it started off as its own thing and then it just turned into Walking Dead but a different cast. Yeah, which I mean, like, I don't know, at that point. I feel like the, the Walking Dead has this tendency to fall out of love and with the zombies, even though that's the whole point of it. You're gonna make a zombie thing and then not give a shit about the zombies anymore and not show me the- I want the zombies. Like, that's kind of how I feel about, like, Attack on Titan at this point, where it's like, I was here for the Titans and there are no more Titans in Attack on Titan. Why am I watching? <laughs> Yeah, what's the point? Like, I would like to see how it ends, but also, again, the thing that I'm here for is gone. Like, at this point, it's just I'm watching it because I spent so much time watching it that I may as well, you know? Which is never, like, the feeling you want with something of, like, well, I may as well, I've been here this long, you know? Yeah. Which I think what happened that's what happened to me in American Horror Story, which is a little bit different because I know that every every ep like season is like it's like an anthology where every season doesn't necessarily connect to the other seasons, at least not in any significant way, even though a lot of them like take place in the same universe. It doesn't actually matter. Like it has literally zero um what is it like zero impact on the plot of any given season. Yeah. Uh with one exception, but other than that, um, yeah, where it's like at this point, like I still watch seasons of American Horror Story just because I'm just like, well, I've been watching for this long, like, might as well keep watching. Yeah. Bad, bad feeling. Don't do that to people. See what layer are his pants on this one? What layer are his pants on? Scuffney.
I found one of those giant pillager towers. How dangerous Ooh. is this? <laughs> uh, very. Do you want to get, like, hoarded? Like... They will all attack you all at once. Oh, Got real quiet for a minute. I'm focusing on not dying to all of these pillagers. So far, I've been able to, to fight them one by one by hiding. You're gonna get, like, the bad omen thing from them, probably. Probably, but I mean, I've made it to the top of their tower. Ooh. Is there anything fun up here? Can I can I have anything? I put it on multiply, yet you do nothing. I multiply you. You multiply. That's your job. I made Noel watch the Princess Bride, Sophie. You've oh, yeah? never seen it. Oh, I have a gort go gort? <laughs> I said gort. A goat horn? Goat horn? Hey, you can blow on it. I don't remember what it does though. Well, hopefully it doesn't kill me. <laughs> Suffocate the banner one in sand. It shouldn't give you a bad omen effect. Might be wrong, don't quote me. How do you just get sand? It's a sprite is an awesome movie. Yeah. That is that really that was all of, just some potatoes and a bottle of enchanting? That's all I got for all of the hard work I did? For the absolute genocide? Like these pillars. You got the horn. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, I did get the horn. I must have more value if that's all it gave you. Good movie. Much romance. Many death. Much while. Many death. Wow. They give you a lot of XP. Jeez. What is this? Oh, well, I played the goat horn. Let's it do? hope I don't die. I don't know. It's made a big noise and then nothing happened. So let's hope I didn't just like summon a demon or something. That would be an unfortunate for me. So I guess on the topic of, uh, write down topics so that you have things to talk about. Uh, I did find, I didn't find a good one with, um, is he holding a machete partially by the blade or am I dumb? Um, yeah, I didn't quite draw the handle like coming out here. Uh, my bad. Uh, just imagine that they're that it's like right here and his hand is like blocking it from your view if you would be so <laughs> kind it's like a little bit of a hilt <laughs> mm -hmm. this is wait oh, another right village Yeah, you're not dumb. You just noticed what I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> Damn. Fucking yikes, that's scary. Looks good, He's though. He's beaten up. He doesn't know how to hold his weapon. Oh no, I've made him look incompetent. That's not the point. 
Oh, yeah, but what was I saying? Uh, discussion topic. One of them was, the one that I thought was interesting was, um... Ah, okay, so it's been bugging multiple people. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say, does fan service actually hurt anime, or does it just add more to the bundle? I think, uh, who you are, it, uh, makes that answer very wildly. Yeah, uh, I think... I think you're a, a detracts from it person, right? Mostly, yeah. Um, it also depends on context. I I feel like I I think, and you can call me freaking whatever you want, like a hypocrite or like double edged swords and this this and that. Like I don't I don't care. I also don't like that fan service very often include like. Fan service characters or just fan service in general very, very often put women in like the position of being the fan service and just whatever. I'm a feminist, whatever. Like, I just, I don't, I don't particularly like the way they are portrayed. Like, I just, I just don't like it. Like, I don't like that women have to constantly be used to sell things. Why is it always sex? Why is it always their bodies? Why is it always like, the over-sexualization of female characters. Like, I just, I don't like it. I just personally don't like it. And I know that some people will argue, like, oh, well, that exists for men, too, which is, like, free. Like, I know that free is apparently super fan service but all the characters Free is an exception to the rule, though. Like, like, the fact that we only have free to point to, like, can you point to anything aside from free? Whereas, like, I could count forever with other examples of women. Yeah. I free yeah, I agree. I free them. Ooh. Boo. She said boo. boo. <laughs> no, I mean like spooky boo, not that I'm arguing with you boo. Oh Frida, no, yeah. No, does I, I fan service it. actually hurt anime or does it add more to the bundle? Uh Answer depends, carefully, Frida. No, I'm just kidding. Depends <laughs> on the anime. That's how I feel. Because like also Etchi's like the whole point like the, mm. that's the whole point of etchy anime. You yeah. know, no one no one is watching High School of the Dead for its amazing plot. For the plot, yeah. They're they're watching for the plot. For the boobah. Okay, let's narrow the focus here and let's talk about like shonen shows. Like things like Naruto, One Piece, My Hero. There's fans. The shows that show? aren't Yes, oh. lots. Oh Sophie. Sophie, oh, yeah. you've never I seen don't... a One Piece girl. That's not a villain. Oh, you know what? That's, that's true. No, I have seen. I villain. have. No, that's true. I've seen. I've seen Nami. I think her name is. She has like the yes. teeniest yes. waist in the world, and yet she has. See, yeah, see, stuff like that. I hate stuff like that. That's annoying. That is, like oh. that is ninety percent of the female designs in One Piece, with the exception of like of Big maybe... Mama or whatever her name is. There's Big Mom, and then there's Alvida, but then she takes the slip slip fruit i forget what it's called i think it was Basically, smooth wasn't it smooth, the smooth it smooth, was fruit. smooth fruit and her fat comes off it slid right off because she's smooth now <laughs> it's so stupid but i high key i love it um i don't uh, the thing with one piece is that i don't think it's it's a whole, i think I don't, I, I think my is. hero absolutely suffers from the fan service. I think yes, it makes the story my, worse. My hero, I've seen clips. My hero gets crazy with it because One Piece, they yeah, sure, there's like girls with big boobies. And, and in One voice, Piece, everyone's a goddamn adult. Everyone in One Piece is an adult. There's not a. Or I can't if even. Child, th or if they're a child, it is. They are. They are a child. It is evident that is a child. Yeah, no, like, there's no, there's no, like, teenage, like, sexualization, like, like, my hero does, yeah, for example. Yeah, you're a literal, it's like, you're either a literal, tiny little child, or you're a grown adult. There is no in between. Hey, is, is Chopper, is, is Chopper a baby, is her, is he a grown up? I know, like, physically, he's cute little mascot, um, animal friend. technically a teenager. Oh, he's a teenager. Okay, but that, he's that a makes sense. That makes sense for him. Thought. So it's more like, so it's not as like it's not weird. Yeah, and plus, again, he he's a reindeer. 
Yeah, no, uh, Sophie Chopper is this cute little reindeer the mascot. Little crying, he has crying, a little yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the, yeah, he's the only I teenager. I mean, he does have a form where, like, he gets super muscular and buff, but it's not sexualized. It's supposed to be like, dude, look oh, how huh. powerful Chopper is right now. That shit, motherfucker's going crazy. It's going crazy. Yeah. No, in that case, yeah. Like, I just, yeah. I don't like, I don't like fan service. I don't like that it's typically made to objectify women, and it always is oh, women. I think like, the biggest um, issue, like the biggest one that's guilty of this, and I know Jesse, this is why you stopped watching it. Fire Force. Ah! Fire Force was pretty bad with the fan service. I can even agree to that. It is it. There is a literal character that gets naked, and that is her. That is the joke. And yeah, the thing is, I watched naked. I watched Kill a Kill. It's fine with Kill a Kill because that's the fucking point of Kill a Kill. Like I, I have a a high anime bullshit tolerance, yeah. but like no, when it's Fire fucking Force stupid. Has, like, legit, yeah, and Fire Force has like a legit like important story and like message behind it, and the fact that he just put a whole character. That basically demeans all that and like everything the characters are working for is kind of I don't I don't understand. I I get why he put her in, but I'm also just like, dude, like Rebecca is a teenager and she wears the gladiatorial bikini. Is that a character Rebecca, I have not met yet? Was Rebecca a teenager? Yeah, Rebecca's um yeah, that's like a that's that's a lot of arcs ahead of where you are, Jesse. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I, another I thing heard, too is I that like I don't I don't think like wearing a bikini is inherently sexualizing if, if them. Want, I haven't seen their design. That's a weird I haven't seen yeah, their I'm design. I to say if you want, I can send you a picture design because I actually didn't know that Rebecca was a teenager. Oh, I thought I thought she was a grown adult, and knowing that now, I'm just like oh, because they're all adults in One Piece. It's safer to assume someone's an adult than to assume they're not. That's if anything, that's kind of strange that she's not. Here, I'll put it in share because it's a little. It shows a lot of skin. It's not horrible. Oh, that's a that's a battle bikini for sure. Uh, yeah. No. It's like the same level as like Princess Leia. I say no. <laughs> I vote no. Bad. All right, we have one L for One Piece. One L for One Piece. No, their other L is the way that they draw black characters. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a oh, rough one. Yeah, yeah. But I, that's that's so many animes though. It is it is such a problem. In yeah, anime. I think a lot Fair. about like Dura Dura, like Dura Dura, Dura the the the. Durarara? I think it was three, right? Three, three raws? Durarara? Right? Right? Yeah, I think it's Durarara. I, I, I like Simon. Simon's a good character. Why does he look like that? Yeah. I would argue, though, that One Piece characters w look worse because of the art style. It brings them way closer to, like, Sambo caricatures. Yeah. Have they improved their their black character designs in One Piece? Yeah, I'll I I'll, I'll believe so, that. Yeah, there it's a lot better now. It's because like er everything that you see people show from One Piece that, about black characters are all before the time skip. Mm -hmm. So it's like when it was like the old art style too. Now it's like in my yeah I, I agree with with uh, Antoine. It's like a lot better now. I'm a dumb boy and never see fan service. I'm like, get the fan service out of here. I can't watch anime with my parents in the room. They're not watching it. I don't know, like some eh, some shows it's it's fine. Having the Funimation channel ruined everything I had with anime. <laughs> Cause 
<laughs> so the thing was, so like on our cable, they were there was a Funimation channel, right? Also RIP Funimation. But um, once it hit like 8 p.m., I guess it was like their anime version of Adult Swim. So they would only play ecchi shows. That's how I watched um, um, B B whatever the one where she's like, I'm I'm going to to screw every guy in my high school. I don't know which one that one is. Yes, you do. We talked about it. Have I seen it? Yes. Or do I just know of it? No, you. I know we've talked about the show and the characters and everything. What's it called? It's B something. We got so B something H something. It's that's the only B something. I I hold on. I will. I'm just gonna look up the plot and it'll probably tell me the anime. B gotta H Kai K. Uh, not ringing any bells. We have talked about this anime, dude. No, I know it was. Can you send me like a picture, like the protagonist? Yes. I'm like, no, I know I talked about this with you. Hello, postal dude. Oh, postal dude's back. Um, I'll be RB, but I'm sending I'm sending you the picture right now. Or I'm put, I'll, should I put in media? I'll put in media because it's safe for work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow I'm off at four. By the way. Yes. Okay, so like I get started without you, and then you'll hop in when you're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen this anime in my life. Dude, what the heck? I could have sworn it was you. Maybe it was BK. Wrong. Oh, it probably was. This sucks. Anyways, I'll be right back. I was telling Noel that um one of the first animes uh, that I wa remember watching, unfortunately, was R Rosario Vampire, which was an ecchi show. And um, I feel like I remember. Yeah, I do remember seeing. I remember seeing manga for it. Uh, it was very popular amongst our friend group. Uh, yeah. So they would they would have a lot of the manga at like their house. And mm -hmm. I would, like, sometimes see it. And I always thought it looked odd. Um, mostly just because I was like, what is this? Like, this is, this is corn. <laughs> this is softcore corn. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I, I wanted to, I wanted to watch it again. Like, and I, I got, like, two episodes in. Um, because I, I just wanted, I wanted, I wanted to see, like, because I remember... That I, I really liked it, and I was actually, like, invested in the story of it, and I just found the f fan service and the 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 sexual stuff, like, just kind of obnoxious. Um, watch it again, watching it again, uh, my god, is it worse than I remember it being? So much worse. I think just the dialogue was going completely over my head because I think we were, I was like 12, you know, like our, our friend group in middle school, you know, but God, it's so bad. And I, I found it funny that the story itself, like the thing that I know I was invested in was like really juvenile. Like, the fact that it's like, oh, you're my first friend. I've never had a friend before. Anyway, this succubus girl is going to rub her boobs all over your chest. That's so odd. Mm-hmm. That's so strange. I don't know. I just, like, I just... And, and I'm sure there's a lot of odd things in a variety of cultures. Like, I'm sure that we have a lot of really weird things. Like, for example, the fact that, like, there are states in the United States where you can marry, you can, like, legally get married with parents' consent 
despite the fact that you yourself cannot consent, like, as if that's not a giant red flag, like, why are your yeah. parents allowed to consent for you if you are an adult? Or if you are unable to consent for yourself, why can other people consent for you? Well, that um, that's that's how that that's how your parents can take you to the doctor and stuff. Like they, someone oh, has to consent for you, and like you consent right. for your your pets, you know, because they can't consent. Right, of course, but like that's when it's like down to your health. When it comes to like getting married off, fifty seven year old man when you're fourteen, like that's odd. <laughs> that's a weird yeah. one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah never mind. <laughs> Um, so, like, I'm sure that there's a ton of, like, odd, odd things like that. Um, but I will say that, like, one thing that always... Uh, rubbed you the wrong me, way? Yeah, rubs me the wrong way, just surprises me, is just the way that, like, j like, Japan handles children and sex, especially in... Hang on, you cut out. What do you say? Hello? In stream, so we might have to- I'm saying that, like, low-key, that this, um... This conversation might be a little bit too- too adult for stream, so maybe we'll talk about it some other time. But mm -hmm. I will say that, like, I just genuinely- generally find it odd that it is so, like, socially acceptable to sexualize young children even though i understand that it's not real and i understand that it's just like a show it's just a book it's just a comic like whatever you want to call it i will say that it just never ceases to amaze me how okay it it seems to be yeah and the only sort of like defense i can give is i know that like you know things like like my hero academia are technically are made are like sexualizing teenagers because it's made for teenagers and so it's more for like you know like teenage boys but also they're not the only ones who are reading it and like the fact that the author who is making it is also not a teenager either you know so like that that uh argument is very flimsy yeah it's just it just is odd Rose through the wrong way like it's just it's just odd and again there was there's more that i would like to say about the topic but i think it's just a little bit too NSFW for stream. Um, not yeah, necessarily because yeah. stream is not mature enough to handle it, but because the subject is too mature for YouTube, like YouTube would probably flag it and get the stream taken down. So it, yeah, yeah, it has less to do, it has really nothing to do with like, oh, stream, you can't handle it. It's more like, I think YouTube would actually get mad because I'd have to use a lot of specific terms and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is for uh, the, the 5 a.m. slur discourse. Yeah, it's like 5 a.m. sort of discourse where it's just like, it's just not, I don't think, I don't think stream would be too happy. YouTube would be too happy. Right. Oh, actually, that is an interesting thing. Is it more important to stay true to the original material, or is it better to tweak it? This literally just happened with Jello Apocalypse talking about how they uh, changed their uh, the anime that they were dubbing, uh, and they made it better, quote unquote, and people were mad about that. Yeah, we were talking about like the the last time I was playing Minecraft. Yeah, I was what to say. It's funny that it comes up again. But I guess to like recap, recap that whole conversation. Um, no, I don't think you should. I think that if the original source material is bigoted or offensive or non PC, I think it should stay that way. Not because mm -hmm. I think like, oh, it's art and we need to preserve the art. I think it has more to do with the fact that like you as a viewer you should be able to make informed decisions on what you want to support. So, like, if you are super into this anime, if you're super into this artist, be only because- like, not solely because, but part of the reason is because you think, like, oh, they're unproblematic, or this, this, and that, and then you find out that, like, their original source material was, like, horrendously transphobic, or horrendously transphobic, or whatever, right? I don't know if I said transphobic twice, but, um... <laughs> you might have. 
I might have, but like if you find out that that artist supports a variety of things that you don't support, I think you should have you have the right to make your own decisions based off of your own morality, your own ethics, and in order to do that, you need to be informed of of the original content. Like I don't know, if this anime is consistently making fun of like the one gay character, then yeah, I think you should be able to know that like, yeah, they're making fun of that character because he's gay. Not because he's like skinny, not because he's fat, not because of this, not because of that. Like, however they choose to localize the joke to get rid of like the transphobia or whatever, or the, the, the homophobia. Like, I think you should know that that was the intention. Like the intention was to make fun of gay people because the artist is, you know, whatever, is homophobic and doesn't support, doesn't support, um, sorry, I'm, like, rambling because I'm trying to build this house and also talk. <laughs> but, uh... but I, I feel like I've gotten my point across. Yeah. I think so, too. I think we talked about this last time. Tune in to the to the the VOD uh the treacherous sheep pilgrimage to to see the original discussion. (laughs) I love the original I love the treacherous sheep sheep pilgrimage. Mm Mm-hmm. Yo, I don't know what to say. That would be interesting. This is kind of a heavy combo. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. What's everybody's favorite pizza topping? Cheese. Give me an actual valid argument on why you don't think pineapple should be on pizza. It's sour. I don't... Like, the sour flavor doesn't mix well with the savory flavor of the pizza. Like, just it just doesn't. I don't like it. It's nasty. Why why is my food both sour and savory? Get out of here. Leave. I do not do not like. Pineapple isn't that sour though. What do you mean? Pineapple is so acidic that it eats you back. <laughs> like pineapple is very sour. It, it It's acidic, but it's It's not sour. I mean, it's I mean it, it's kind like of it, it's, it's not, not sour it's like a sour, candy. But... Like yeah. Sour, like eating a sour warhead, like, but like it's acidic, or if you want to call it sweet instead, like it's acidic, acidic y sweet, or whatever. The point is, I don't like how it mix with like the savory flavor of the pizza, it just doesn't, it doesn't mix well. Doesn't mean that sweet and sweet and sour doesn't work all the time. Well, actually, to be fair, I don't even like sweet and sour sauce, I like sweet and spicy sauce, but I don't like sweet and sour sauce. So you're like, uh, cause, cause Frida once said she, she, uh, they, they were just straight up like, well, I don't like sweet and sour. I mean, like sweet and savory. Pineapple is super sweet. What kind of pineapple are you getting? (laughs) Whatever. Point is, doesn't belong on. Do you like orange chicken? Do you not like orange chicken either? Cause that's also sweet and savory. I do really like orange chicken, but... I guess in my defense, sort of, with air quotes, because it isn't really a defense, I don't like authentic orange chicken for that reason. I don't like that authentic orange chicken is really, like, it tastes like oranges, and I don't like that. So I specifically only really enjoy, like, Panda Express orange chicken, which doesn't actively taste like oranges, in my opinion. Probably because, again, Mm -hmm. it's not authentic Chinese food. Um. I'm not big on sweet and savory personally. Yeah, so like, is that is that just why people don't like pineapple and pizza? Is that they're just like not a fan of sweet and savory?
Oh my god, I have so many cherry blossom petals. Jesus Christ. I guess I've never had it. You've never had um, orange chicken? Your Joe's orange chicken is the best orange chicken. All else falls before the might of its deliciousness. But like, I'm not going to judge people for like a pineapple and pizza. I appreciate I that. Am. <laughs> judge all of you. you won't catch me not judging all of you. Catch me judging. Never had it. Oh. Oh. Oh, I look over at Chunk and she's laying on her back with her paw in the air. Oh. So cute. She's sleeping. Sleep. Oh, she just stretched out her arm. I've recently <laughs> find, found out that most of the people in my life are cat people. Just mm -hmm. accidentally, I just kind of figured that out. And I just think it's funny, because I always felt like... I mean, I guess it doesn't disprove my my theory, I guess. But my theory was always that, like, pe like pe there are more dog people than cat people. Just because, like, I don't know. I just always kind of thought that. Um, but yeah, I've recently found that most of the people in my life are cat people, not dog people. This is, this is what she's doing right now. She's, like, reaching her, her paw out as she sleeps peacefully. No. Um, I don't know that many people, uh, but most people I know are cat people. Yeah. Stick my leggy out real far. The thing that bothers me the most about, like, I feel like whenever I see pineapple on pizza, like, drawings or whatever, they use cubes of pineapple. I think you made me realize I'm a cat person. To be fair, my mom's dogs are not very likable dogs, <laughs> so they're not a very good advertisement on you should get a dog. Look at this dog. This is what you could have <laughs> because my mom's dogs are horribly behaved. They're they're good dogs. Good. They're they're good boys. They're just not well trained even slightly, you know. Yeah. I also think that like and I'm I don't mean this to like like, this is not meant to be an insult or anything, but I also think that Noelle might have a mild, like, subconscious fear of dogs. Because I feel like even when Noelle was, like, younger, like, when Opie, when Opie was alive, um, like, Opie, like, I remember, because I, I first saw it when Noelle was, like, really, really anxious around, like, Scout, which I understand, right? Like, Scout is a big, scary German Shepherd dog. Like, I get it. She's scary. Um, you know, I I've noticed judge. that, too. Not judging, but, either. <laughs> yeah, but, like, even around Opie, I remember Noelle always be like, now that I think about it, Noelle was always kind of jumpy, even though Opie was like incredibly mellow and like minded his business, didn't bark, like didn't do anything. Like, Noelle, you've always been kind of jumpy with dogs. So I wonder if you're just like, for whatever reason, like you're just consciously afraid of them. You need to uh, spend some time with uh, Mona. On a time, little dog. Cause yeah, like I have big dogs and you have big dogs. Yeah, we just got a little dog. Go make, go make friends with Mona, Noel. Mona. Looking for reference, and I keep drawing and redrawing, and like, okay, clearly I need a reference. Boo. Oh, my chaos references. Hello, Frida. Boo. I need Julian references. And I guess I also want to clarify that, like, you're not alone. Like, although he would never admit it, like, my dad is also afraid of dogs. <laughs> like, like, it's very obvious that he is. But, like, if you ever ask him, he'd be like, no. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Funny that, like, some people, like, and again, I, I guess it makes sense because dogs are animals and they're big, scary animals. Like, they got big teeth, loud barks, like... Some of them have creepy human eyes, you know? Like, I think it, I think being afraid of dogs makes sense. I don't know why I've never been afraid of dogs. Um, even big scary dogs. So apparently once we were vacationing in, in my mother country. And 
there are street dogs all over the place. Like, people people just kind of let their dogs wander the streets, and, like, half the dogs aren't owned by anyone, you know what I mean? Like, they're just, they're just little mangy street dogs. Um, but some of them can be incredibly, like, big, because they're just, like, these giant abandoned dogs that live off of, um, and trash and stuff. They have rabies. So most I, of them. I, I know. I'm just like, fucking... <laughs> like, I, 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 it's like I don't think. I don't think they have rabies. I just, I just, I just jokingly say that because one time my grandpa got bit by a stray dog, and he had rabies. Had, oh my it god! Had, it had rabies. He had to go get the rabies shot. Oh god. Yeah, um, you have to take it for like a week apparently in the stomach. Yeah, yeah like so don't, get, is... don't get rabies, guys. Yeah, no, rabies has like an incredible kill rate. Like, if you don't catch rabies in like the first like twenty four hours, you're literally guaranteed to die. It's kind yeah. of scary. Yeah, don't get don't get rabies, guys. <laughs> yeah, don't don't get rabies. That's a, that's a really good lesson right there. Oh yeah, don't. don't oh touch my god, animals. Rita, do you remember the rabies thing on Tumblr? The rabies sexual, like the rabies flag, and then the rabies yeah, sexuals yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, I miss that era. That was a good era. <laughs> Good that a, era. That was a great era of Tumblr. They they had like a rabies like flag and everything. It was the great. rabies pride flag. Yeah, it was a pride flag. It was oh, great. God, there was I this person. That. There was this person making this post and like they were they were talking about how like, you know like uh, maybe you shouldn't like 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 they're they're like trying not to be like anti-vax, but they're saying like oh yeah like you. Uh, can't really like give consent as a child and you don't know like uh like what certain health issues that that you could cause and blah 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 blah, blah. you know just talking about like like medical stuff without children's consent and then towards the bottom like as they went on they were like anyway i was vaccinated for rabies and i'm upset because i can never be fully rabid <laughs> and then everyone was like whoa whoa yeah and then so from that grace the the earth with the rabies flag and then people just started putting whatever character they wanted and said like so and so or rabies sexual so yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's like, like a, a genre of like tumblr account is that like character of the day is uh whatever sexuality this account is like collecting think, you know i think the so it'll be like one... this character is a lesbian you know yeah I think my favorite one that I saw was someone put the Costco wholesale sign. Yes. The rabies flag and said Costco wholesales is now rabies. Love that. Um, but anyways, back to my weird story about dogs. So I I guess what had happened was I was walking with um with a particular dog. I think it was the family dog. Like I was walking with the family dog down these like streets of like this little pueblito. Right? And again, like, you don't put your dog on a leash because all dogs, like, they're just fucking rabid. They just like, walk, dude. Yeah, they just walk. Like, they're just dogs. Like, because a lot of them are, like, farm dogs, especially in this pueblo. Like, they're all farm dogs, so they don't just, like, wander off. They don't just run away. Like, they just walk alongside you and they just go wherever you go. So we're walking down this, this little street. And I guess at some point, this, like, giant dog... Um, my dad doesn't remember what kind of dog it was, but it was apparently huge. And at the time I was, I was little, like I was, I was like probably like seven or eight. So like, I was really small too. And apparently this dog was just particularly large. And so <laughs> the dog like barking at our little house dog, not our little house dog, our medium sized like house dog. And apparently came to like rush at the house dog and dead ass, like my dad was watching from like several feet away because he was walking behind me. He sees this giant dog that's like barking and like it's like whoa, 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 like sprint towards the little house dog. And so my dad watches in horror as I step in front of the little house dog and I look this dog, this giant rabid dog, right in the eyes and I go, no, bad dog. See and so I'm like yelling at this dog and so my dad at this point is like running like sprinting towards me because he thinks that this dog is about to like bite my face off 
And sure enough, the dog sits, like the giant rabbit dog sits right in front of me. And it's like my dad says, like, Sophie, I swear to you, you were eye level with this dog. Like this dog was so big and you were so small that you were standing eye level with this giant dog that was like barking and snarling at this other dog and blah, blah, blah. And so my dad was just like, dad was, my dad was literally like, dude, I can't believe, I can't believe that the dog listened to you. Like, I can't believe that you, that the dog sat, like, he was like, I literally thought we were going to have to take you to the hospital because you were about to get mauled by a dog. And he was like, and what I was most impressed by was the fact that little you wasn't scared. Like, at no point did you scream, at no point you were like, the dog is going to eat me. Like, you stood in front of the little house dog and you yelled at this rabid dog to sit. <laughs> and sure enough, the dog did. So, yeah. Don't know why I'm not scared of dogs, but apparently even little baby Sophie was not... Had no fear. <laughs> no fear did, of Dougal. Did you, did you already That's have an awesome story. Before At that dog? age? Yeah. I think I, think I would have... Were you just grown up with... Or you just were you saw the family dogs? Because I think it's like... No, because I didn't have Opie until I was about seven or eight. So okay. I either got Opie right before or right... A Actually, it would have been right after because I didn't get Opie until like December. And I usually go over there during during summer so it would have been like yeah. june july august so i think this was the before dog whisperer because <laughs> like i think it just depends on like how you're like raised with pets if that makes sense no i uh, the only pets i had growing up were fish because mm. like for me like i don't know i always my family always I didn't have a dog till I was seven. That's when we got Lola. But like visiting my grandparents and stuff, like all of them already had dogs. That's why for me, like I've always just liked dogs. That's I mean, why, I like, also think some kids are just like built different. Like some are like more timid reckless. than others. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. so, just I some are more timid than others, raised. you know. But that's what I mean. I think it like depends like how you're raised to be that's it. towards animals and stuff. Because like, Jesse said, I was built different. <laughs> no, because I'm thinking, like, I don't think I was ever scared of dogs as a kid, and I've only ever had chihuahuas growing up, you know? Right, but did you I've only had big dogs recently. Scared? No. Right, but did you... Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I think if, like, if you're shown to be afraid of, like, pets or animals, then you're going to be afraid of said animal. Maybe that that's kind of what it has to do with me, is that, like, because I was never raised around animals, I was not taught to be scared of them. Because there was never any animals around for me to be, for, like, my parents to be like, be careful with that dog. Like, be careful with yeah. that dog. It's gonna bite you. And so because I never got that, like, cautious, like, hey, be careful with that dog. It's gonna bite you. I then thought, like, well, why would the dog bite me? Like, <laughs> chihuahuas yeah, are the scariest dogs. Dude, chihuahuas yeah. are little fucking They're little pushovers. Yeah. Oh, dude. Ha oh, Mona. Mona is the bane of my existence now. No, you love Mona. I love her, but she's my bane, dude. Like, love oh, your creature. Love your creature. creature. The creature doesn't even love me. <laughs> she's a troll. <laughs> what do you expect? I know. That's what sucks. You got the dog version of a cat. You got I a really, you got a cat dog. No, oh God, we. This I is this is cat, cat person dog. experience. I have a cat dog, dude. Like, I was like, oh, you know, maybe one day I'll have, like, a cat because, because, like, my dad, even though my dad hates cats. Bro, this is, this is basically a cat. She's had almost cat, every cat type dog. of pet in my lifetime except birds. S uh, I've, I've had birds. I don't think I've ever had any sort of reptile. But I've had, I've had I've, fish, cats, dogs, I've only and ever birds. Had dog. I've only ever had dog and fish. But then the fish always die. Have you ever had a bird, Sophie? Am I the only bird haver? Yeah, I was not a bird haver. Mm -hmm. Um, mostly just because like smaller animals like that, just in general. Oh um, no, yeah, I've never had like a, any sort of rodent either. Thanks for cute. Yeah, they're just, I believe you. They're just really, they're just really smelly, and because my mom. Yeah, same. That's what my mom didn't want. Me. Yeah, like my mom doesn't doesn't particularly want like smelly creatures in the house, she which I understand. Like, she also mm -hmm. just told me. I remember she like straight up told me when I was little. She was like, "I don't trust you." To like cleaning that all the time, you barely clean your room as is. Which like valid, mm -hmm. I definitely would. Valid, if I had, yeah, any, like, yeah, if I had a bunny, you know damn well I would not be cleaning after that bunny. <laughs> like, bro, and they shit a lot. 
Yeah, they do. Like, just smaller rodents like that. Like, and keep in mind, like, dogs also smell bad. Like, I will- I will die on this hill here. Just as a- as a random, like, I will actually die on this hill. All animals smell bad. They just do. Humans smell bad. So bad. Like, yeah. that's why we shower. That's why we put on a bunch of hair products. That's why we that's, wear perfume. That's why, that's why we, why we wear deodorant. Like, that's why we baze our doggies. Yeah, it's literally, like, all animals smell bad, humans included. Yeah. So, at the very least, you can give your dog a bath. In some cases, you can give your cat a bath if they're particularly smelly. But I know that also, at some point, like, cats also bathe themselves. But the point is, like, if your rabbit cage smells horrible because your rabbit won't stop pooping in the cage, like, you can't fix that. You can't give the- like, you can't give it a bath. Or, like, ferrets. Like, ferrets are rodents. They smell horrible. But, like, it's not healthy for you to be bathing your ferrets because her- ferrets in the wild do not take baths. Like, that's not a thing that happens. So, like, it can be very yeah. dangerous for you to bathe, like, small animals because they don't take baths. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I, my favorite- dude, Fuck yeah, I'm Mars! I'm with the little videos of, like, the chinchillas taking their little dust Oh, the bath. little dust baths? Yeah. They're, they're so mm-hmm. cute! My family had a bearded dragon. My mom had to give it CPR one time. Why? Oh, that, oh God! That, that's, my neighbor, she has a bearded dragon. His name is Spencer. 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 He's, he's cool. I had to take care of him one time for like a week. I would like, cause like they were gone. Did you? Did he? Did so he do I push-ups for you? No. He, he didn't uh, do any push-ups for you. <laughs> you no, know, he just stared at me. I feed him his little salad and just stared at me. His little salad. <laughs> yeah, she t- she, g- she gave me like the little container and then the worms too. So I get these little worms. I don't mind that stuff. So like that's why I was like, yeah, I'll take care. Cause like her whole family was gone. Like the whole family was out of the house. So she was just like, oh, here's the key. Just feed them like every day. And I was like, okay, cool. Like I can do this. Yeah. And I just you know I gave him a little worm. Give me a little salad. Cute. He went nom nom nom. When you when I you touch know. his I touch his little head, and he closes his eyes and goes and he and he, I like to pretend like he's purring. He can't because he's a lizard. I'm sure he would have if he could have. He closed his eye, but he closed his eyes and he looked in peace. He he enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah. I think think that's him him telling you that he likes (laughs) when you pet him. That's really sweet. Yeah. The sweet story. I will say I think I fucked up the first day when I tried to feed him. I think I was like I'm hungry. I went to yeah. I I think I I went a little too quick and he like bit my finger. Oh. Oh. It wasn't like a hard bite. It was just like a. It was like, oh, and I was like, oh, yeah. my, my bad, G, my bad. Just, just a, just a little. Stop doing that. I'm an animal. I don't have words. I only have bite. Yeah, it's funny though, cause um, a pair, like she'll like let him walk in the house, and they have like a a they have a what you call it, a blue healer basically mix. A bluey? <laughs> yeah, bluey mix. It's a bluey mix, and uh, apparently he's like chill with him. Yeah, That's I've amazing. heard that. I've heard people who have like snakes, like not snakes that are like venomous or anything, obviously, but like yeah, like, yeah, like, with like the little snakes, yeah, yeah, like little snakes, like pythons and stuff. Yeah, they'll like just kind of let them wander the house because like they're too small to to eat anything, and obviously they have their own little habitat, so they're gonna want to generally stay where it's warm, not where it's cold. So they're also unlikely to like hide in places. So yeah, like sometimes people will just like let their snakes like. Yeah, chill. I've seen I've seen people let their snakes like chill on like their, like shoulders and stuff. I I've heard though the only thing about snakes is like, you just have to be careful because sometimes they get like anxiety and so they'll like bite you. But yeah. Then there's like a solution, like a literal like liquid solution that's not venomous or hurtful to them, but you just kind of it's kind of like just like a little spray and then they'll they'll de detach immediately. Yeah. Yeah, snakes are cool. Yeah, I think I don't think I'd ever want a snake. Just like for no particular reason, I just think snakes don't interest me as pets. But I think that they're cute. Like I think they can be cute. I appreciate a good snake. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, exactly. Like I, I can appreciate a good snake. Yeah, agreed. See, I was 
I think he almost drowned drinking his, his water. One of my family's cats bites your fingers to show his affection. I don't know why he was stray. I don't think that's weird. I think, yeah. I think a lot of animals do, like, love that's bites. A, that's a cat thing. Oh, humans do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesse, you, you, you've had a lot of cats. Yes. Um, When do you, like, spay and neuter them? Like, at what age? Um, I think... Uh... How Isn't old it was it? I, I... Now, I'm just asking because, like, my friends from school recently, they got, they have a three months old kitten. I think and in general, you do it before the, yeah, you do it before the, the animal's adolescence. Like, so you'd have to look up what the adolescent age yeah. of a cat oh, is. Oh, but... I, I, I used to know it and I couldn't remember, so I Googled it. It says five to six months. So, like, oh, okay. before they're a so year old. Two months. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, it's funny, because I didn't realize how how cats... Cats get named the most dumbest names, but it only works for them because they're cats. You can't have a dog named Pants. You can I, only name a cat Pants. But their cat, their cat name is technically Boa, but all of the rest of my friends call them Balls. Don't call them Balls! Don't call them that! And so now his name is Balls. That poor kitty. Why do I? And so like, I me and hate my friends that people do that. We started discussing like different cat names and what would be the best one. I think the best one was my friend Phil said. He's like, you get two cats, and you name one Duran, and the other one is Duran. That is kind Duran of Duran. 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 That's funny. That's I like, think, that, okay. I that's think that funny. is the best. I think that is the best one. I don't think anything else could ever top that. But then how do you- who's who? Who's Duran. who? You go Duran. Duran. It's- it's in the tone. Yeah, there's Duran, and then there's Duran. Duran. Hang on, I gotta figure out this fucking pose. Like, I think the best one too is my dad has a friend who has named her cats. One of them is Friday the second to dude Obama. How do people name their the cats like people name horses? Yeah, the other one is just named Dragon It. Like the Pokemon? Yep. Isn't it Dragon Knight? The no, cat's names are Kit Kat, Smudge, not. and Gingerbread. I guess not. Those like are the good Pokemon names. Then. Um, there was this funny one of my favorite um, moments with my friends was one of my friends has dogs that are not his. They're like the family dogs, and his family is primarily made up of women. So a lot of the dogs just happen to have really cute names. Like their names are like Cookie. Uh, like cupcake and I don't know I can't think of the other name but like let's just say that or whatever it's like cookie cookie cake and and cupcake or whatever and so at some I think it was Oreo actually um, but whatever the point is these dogs these like three or four dogs are like going crazy and so you hear my friend over discord basically being like cookie cupcake like shut up like Oreo, <laughs> stop barking. like you know what i mean like they're yelling out all these names and then one of the one of my friends goes damn who the fuck is next fucking brownie kit kat bar <laughs> like what the fuck like why do all your dogs have these names and they're like what's fucking next like tiramisu <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want two dogs, and I want to name one Salt and name the other Burr. <laughs> Who's the unlucky dog that gets to be Salt? I don't know. But they will be unlucky. I will see to it. I 
I don't know why pets with human names are hilarious. I do, I do also agree that I think I it's agree, funny. Yes. It's like, Michael! You're talking to your dog. I love Charlie as a name for a dog. Like, yeah. Charles! <laughs> <laughs> Michael, don't leave me in here. <laughs> Michael. So something uh, difficult about commissions, uh, like a, a very common type of commission that I get is characters who don't have any art of them. I'd say that like I get more commissions of characters with no art than I do characters that have like a nice like reference sheet for me to use. Right. So they're like, can you please like... It's essentially like a, a character design commission. Yeah. Um. And what sucks about those ones is I am basically forced to make sure that the art of that I'm making is more of a reference sheet than like a cool picture of them. Mm. And so like the reason I'm struggling with this character like right now, the why the reason like I've reposed her like seven times is she has like this Tifa thing going on, like like Yang from from Ruby where she has like this like skirt thing and like for for future reference it would be better like that's why I have her to the side here if you could see both sides of it so she has to be posed like this rather than the, the pose that I was going to do so that you could see it I hate the the TikTok art community. Every time I see anything from the TikTok art community, you know what? Actually, I take that back. I hate uh the people's like art opinions, like art takes are always really bad. They're always the same ones. They're always like so like reductive. They're not helpful. They're like, oh, don't chicken scratch your drawings. Like I can sketch however the fuck I want. Like, uh, like, like there's this trend um, going around. <laughs> there's this trend going around. Stupid. on and you're wrong. Yeah, there's this tw trend going around on on uh, Twitter where people are just like drawing like the the tropes they don't like in like fan artwork, and oh yeah, canon versus fanon. A I hate is it, it like the jelly art style thing that everyone hates? Yeah, that too. Oh, Again, I hate all that. of it. I hate all of it. I hate every. Every little controversy always coming out of the art community. It's always stupid, always reductive. Hate it. Can we just like admit that you think the jelly art style is ugly and move on? Which is funny. I think the jelly art style is so I cute. Thought, I like the jelly art style. Is fine. I, I didn't say you. I mean the people who are no, like making no, yes, a big I fucking know. controversy over it. That's, that's yeah. what we're saying. It's like I don't understand why people hate on it so much because at the end of the day, it's it's cute. Like mm -hmm. why are you guys so mad over it? It's cute. I will say, the the one trend I have enjoyed on TikTok is where yelling my students are all morons and they'll pause it to where he's yelling and then they'll draw over it yeah that one's funny that well because that, that one's one not funny. like punching the art community itself like that, that like little trends are fine i hate that we're constantly like criticizing each other or like the art lore thing hate that when they find a bit what? a beginner artist with a bad like anatomy habit and proceed to like re like draw art with the same mistakes like making fun of them like uh, you know how like i have a bad habit of giving characters like long necks like it'd be like oh the pig paletta art style where they give everyone these horrible giraffe necks like that's what they do and that's fucked up and i hate it leave beginners alone 
She said, leave those children alone! Leave the kids alone! I saw someone bitching about PewDiePie's, like, 100 day challenge. I also saw that. Thing. Because, like, he's copying... They, 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 co they basically compared him using references and stuff to tracing and copying an art style when it's like, dude. He's, he's <gasps> that's 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 called <gasps> learning, dude. That's exactly the shit I hate. Oh my god. I saw a tweet once that was like, I should be financially compensated for being subjected to 14 year olds' opinions. <laughs> Agreed. Look at the mistake they made. Let's all mock them because we find it amusing. You feel that bad about yourself that you gotta go f <laughs> go find teenagers to make fun of? Listen, I'm gonna be honest. Fuck them kids. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say like, oh Sophie, Sophie with the rare bad take. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with the I'm gonna hit you with the uh. Fuck those kids, bro. What is it with all the kids being awful? Like kids you got pretty you awful. got you got the teenagers giving their shit takes. You got the ten year old the at Sephora. <laughs> when will we have peace? Never. There is no peace here. Whoa, is that a jungle? Oh my god. Have you done- are you, like, uh, try, still trying to find the biome? Oh, you guys want to know something awful? Because like, I was reminded of Minecraft. So, like, in my, like, production class, we have to, like, uh, have everything hooked up to a server and it says server address and he was like oh yeah do you guys know how like this works and I immediately was like in my head I was like don't say it out loud don't say it out loud I was like it's like Minecraft <laughs> it's like a server address you mean what you <laughs> you mean like was, Minecraft, mean, like, Minecraft dear lord I had to hold- dude, I was holding it back so hard, I was gripping on that desk so hard. Gripping on the desk to not be like- LIKE MY- You have- you have no idea. It's tough out here in these streets, dude. <laughs> that feel when you're a Minecraft stan. Dude, stan Minecraft. I will not take the opinion of a kid who says skibbity. No, for real. I will <laughs> never. Not I, in, not once in my life will I ever. It? One of my friends, I unironic, or like ironically, they're like, dude, you mean like skibbity toilet? And I was like, dude, no. No, no we're not, no, we're not going No, I don't far. mean that. <laughs> no, we're not, we are not going that far, okay? I'm fine when we do the dick and ball jokes, but d d the skibbity toilet is too far, dude. That's no, for I real. Draw my line. Yeah, you've gone too far there. It's it's it's, it's as as someone who who thinks the Half Life series is a good game series, no, it's disrespectful. Put some respect on their name. To be fair, people will be making Gmod uh, shit posts from like the beginning of time, dawn of time. I mean, haha, <laughs> funny joke. Don't ever talk to me again. Don't ever talk to me again. Oh God, I'm just falling all over the place. Please. Don't ever talk to me or my son ever again. Ugh, I'm on a hunt for bird. The blade? I need it for my floor. And it has to be birch. Cannot be any other type of tree. It has to be birch. That is valid. Birch is a pretty good tree. 
but I was an idiot and I wandered away from home with no bed. I feel like most of YouTube now is just brain rot. That's why I've been watching the same old YouTubers I've been watching. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just I just watch off my recommended. I just. I mean, do I you explore know, just... new YouTubers you haven't seen before, or are you just kind of vibing yeah, in the space that you've been vibing in? That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's what I mean. I just I just click off my recommended. Like, you get sometimes you get bangers, dude. True. 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 Like. I don't know. I like I like video essays. I think they're cool. Video essays are cool. Especially with face, fast paced editing. Thoughts on the Danganronpa OST, Frida? Uh, 10 out of 10. Oh. Which, wait, which one are we talking about? Because uh, currently I'm playing... Currently I'm playing 2's <laughs> OST, that's probably why he's asking. Uh, all of them are 10 out of 10s. I have all of them literally on like my a daily playlist. Oh. Actually, I'm pretty sure I ended up for like my Spotify, like, what you call oh, it? The, the, did Danganronpa end up on your Spotify wrapped? Oh yeah, dude. I always, that's always ends up being like my third or fourth most listened, like, artist. And it's like oh, the dude shit. who composes, who composes like all the fucking Danganronpa shit. That's how often I'm listening to it, dude. It's a, oh, it's damn. a problem. Hang on, I gotta get more water. <laughs> like, let me check. Spotify receipt. Agree. Okay, and I say top artists for the last ten months. Yeah, number five. Number five. Number ten. Oh, uh, can I? So let me get this straight. You want ten bacon buckets? <laughs> oh, bacon want a a ten piece of bacon nugget? Three chocolate bit bookies? bookies and a diet boke? <laughs> yeah, on blood. That's what I want. <laughs> on blood. I like how people. Bacon added... nugget gets me. Bacon nugget I, is funny. I love how people added like the like the sparkle. The sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> you ordering it? Was you saying it back? It's so funny. A ten piece bacon nugget? For me it's the three baclet bit bookies. <laughs> the baclet bit bookies? Yeah. That's my favorite part. That was a that's a good one. Let me get this straight. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want ten bacon nuggets? <laughs> three baclet bit bookies. <laughs> baclet bit bookies? <laughs> and a diet boke? I'm blood. <laughs> That's what I ordered. I just animated a character blinking. I'm so proud of myself. Great job, Mars. Five whoppers and five more whoppers. Wait, can you guys can you guys go like <laughs> yeah, like I wink love wonk that. with your eyes or no? Wink can wonk. Wink? Like like you close one eye, and then you close the other eye, but but one oh, the eye is always blink? open. That's what I- yeah, that's what I mean, like a wink wonk. Like, yeah, you're talking I... about the fog blink, yeah. Yeah, I can't do it. I, I can't can do it close... smoothly. I can only close my left eye. My right eye, like, I can't- I can't just only close my right eye. That's strange. Like, like, my, like right now both my eyes are just closed. I'm trying to open my eyes. It's room. not a frog. Oh, oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. It took me a full minute. But we're here, guys. That sounds concerning. Why? That's, that's not... it. That's it. I think that's... Sounds like Frida's just stupid. It's like how people can't... I mean, people... There's people that can't wink. The people can't wink? I've never heard of that. Yeah. What? Yeah. Some people can't whistle, dude. Well, I can't whistle. Oh, there that, you go. That's, that's weird. Maybe you should get that checked out. Well, because, like, I don't know how. It's the same, but that's what I mean. It's kind of like the same that you like do something. A whistle is like something you have to like do with your fingers at least. Like there, there is some sort of like it, what? It's literally the act of the closing your eyes mouth. to wink. Wait, I'm not saying like the mouse with like the finger whistle. I'm just saying a regular whistle, dude. And don't you have to like like put your lips like a certain way? Yeah, I mean you just I just go in a kissy. 
<laughs> my mouth in a little kitty, and then you oh, just you no. just blow, you just, you just blow. I feel like that's that's different than the ability to close your eyes, though. It's the same thing, in my opinion. Like, cause you're it's it's not closing your eyes; it's closing only one at a time. Like that takes like motor function in your brain to think about. Motor function to close your eyes. But only one. You're not... But it's the same thing as closing them eye. together. Close... No, it's not. Yes. It, uh, Muscle-wise, yes, it is. I don't know. What? I don't know, dude. That's Hello? why I said, like, some people can't wink. Hang on, I'm at the pool. Can you wink? Yes. No. And like I said, I can- I can technically open you know, like my left eye with my right eye closed, but it takes me. See, like I have to. It takes me a couple of tries, and I have to think about it hard, cause like right now. I'm... Nope, nope. It's like... There, I did it. But like, see, it takes me like. No, that's my right eye. <laughs> it takes me like a long time to do it. Like it's just, I just think it's like a. Like I don't know. Like some things people are better at. Because your brain worked or something. So if you're awful quiet about this, do you also have difficulty winking? Mm -hmm. Generally, I think I do. Like, I don't... I don't think I can wink smoothly. Yeah, and like, like I can wink, but I can only wink with my left eye, really. I can't really do it with my right eye. I also think that I... Like, every time I wink, I look like I'm having an aneurysm. I, f I feel that. I mean, yeah, because you you do it with your whole face, you know. Yeah, and I definitely can't frog blink like at all. Let's see, advice for artists, me not included. Do whatever you want. Don't feel bad for doing so. No need to regret it. On the future. When I started doing magic tricks, I learned from a YouTube tutorial when I saw a video saying that you aren't an actual magician. It made me feel like I wasn't going to be good at magic tricks. Just such a bad thing to do. Those are two different messages. Advice also works for every subject. Oh my bad, in my last comment, the sentence was meant to say, then I saw a video saying that you aren't an actual musician if you learn from videos. I used to have trouble blinking. That also it's smooth. makes no sense. Whoever, like, again, whoever made the comment or the video saying, like, you're not a real magician if you learn from videos, then what does make a real magician? What do you have to learn from to be considered a real magician? People, people don't seem to understand we live in a day and age of technology. Yeah, I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I have to learn from, like... You're not an artist. If girl. you're self-taught, you need to go to school and be I mean, taught by an say, actual like, art teacher. Which, which I could vaguely understand if it was, like, in a... Respectfully, like, an applicable skill in life. You know what's not an applicable skill in life? Magic. <laughs> you don't go to magic school, dog. Like, like I can't... I, I, I get... Because, like, I think it is good to learn from, like, YouTube and stuff, right? Especially if you're a beginner. But then, obviously, also, as you grow, you should also then look back at some videos and be like, mm, is this really the best way to do this? Like, it's still good to be critical. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's, like... Like, yeah, I definitely don't agree with people that are like, oh, you learned from the school of YouTube? Like, bro, yeah. The fuck Genuinely, I think a lot of art advice on YouTube is really bad. Yeah, like like I said, like it's good to still be critical and look back at some videos and be like, that's can't, not the best advice. Can't stand the old like DeviantArt ranting community on YouTube. That community is oh, yeah. dead, and I'm so glad. 
everyone who is in that community doesn't make don't, they don't even make YouTube videos anymore. And you I'm so glad. Do like the speed paints and then just complain about everything. Yeah, like like Spockter yeah. theory, like icy yeah. hazard, like sab oh, draws, dude, solar dude. sands, deviate They're... cringe. Yeah, no, those are bad. I'll, I, I hate, dude. I didn't. God, you just made me realize how many of them I hated, dude. <laughs> I also, I, I think she's cool, and I like her videos when she's just kind of drawing shit, but I think I hate Lavender Town's tutorials. I think she should not do those. I, um, it's been a long time since I watched Lavender Town, but I used to watch her a lot. I'm, I don't know. Maybe Again, I like, I like her, and I that? like whenever she, like, does something, like, else, but I, I, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't know. I I I remember watching some of her tutorials. I don't remember them being like explicitly bad. They're not bad advice. Like of all the the advice that I think is bad on YouTube, I think if I had to point to anyone, I would point to Lavender Town amongst all those people. Okay. I just feel like it. it she's explaining her process and what she's learned and i wish yeah. it was framed a bit more like that oh bet bet you know yeah i get what you mean especially because she has a very specific style and it's also very loosey-goosey and she does like adventure time arms a lot and her line art's like really messy and she just kind of lets it be like that and like that's great for you but, like i don't I don't like know. For everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not human because I didn't go to school to become one. Yeah. And, like, again, I think that, like, not that I think that that argument is ever actually valid, but, like, I would understand being snooty like that over something that is, like, quote unquote like, like a, serious a legit job yeah. yeah like computer science like again i don't i don't necessarily think it's valid but i think i could understand why a job wouldn't want to hire you yeah. if you don't have a degree in computer science even or though you're like, like well i learned um, from the school of youtube like i understand yeah. why a job would not be like okay but you don't have any actual like real credential that proves to me that you are educated in computer science other than you saying well i watch youtube tutorials on it like do you get what yeah. i mean like i, I and again or not like, that that's um... necessarily still valid because again you can actually still get a credential like do you get what i mean you can still learn a lot through what you watch on youtube but i totally get what you mean and like for example like one of the big ones right that i've that i've noticed that's because i'm in this space is like for example like music production music mixing um, mm -hmm. A lot of people, you can easily just go on. You can just learn from YouTube. On God, you can learn a lot from YouTube and learn like a lot of mixing. But if you were to just go out and get a job and just be like, well, I'm self-taught and stuff. It's very like you can probably know just as much as someone who went to school for it. But I, I highly doubt that you'll get the job versus someone who like actually has a degree in it. Yeah. Which is both unfortunate and un unfortunate because, again, I also think that teaching in a school or sorry, learning in a school setting also provides a general different experience in the sense that it develops skills that you can't develop on your own. Like as much as we all hate group projects. At the end of the day, group projects taught you how to work needed. in a team. Yeah, like they yeah. taught you how to work as a team. They taught you how... And again, that, that doesn't go for people... Like, I'm sorry for all the people that have had horrible experiences in, like, team group projects. Because, I, I mean, God, Lord knows that I've also had terrible things. But you know what has also happened is that I've learned a lot on how to work with a team, as a team. Like, I've even learned how to work with people I don't like. Like, personally. Like, people that I hate with a passion, personally. I've had to learn how to work with them. And, like, that's an important skill to have. Like, the ability to be able to work, uh, uh, like, with a deadline. Because, like, yeah, you, let's say you learned how to, like, uh, I don't know, like, you learned computer science online on the school of YouTube. But it took you 
let's say the normal the normal like in a normal mm, i don't know i'm i'm trying to just like make up numbers and none of the numbers are making sense but let's say 4 years of college right equates to equates to like computer science or whatever right but it took you 6 years to complete what other people completed in 4 years because you don't have any sense of urgency like you don't have you don't know what it's like to work under pressure or to work with a deadline because you just learn from the school of YouTube for fun. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, that's mm -hmm. stuff that's also important that you learn by going to school. Or also and... just, like, industry standard stuff, too, that, like, isn't really told. And then, like, you go in and they expect it one way. But because you were not taught in a school setting where they teach you, like, industry standard ways, you go in not knowing, like, certain yeah. things like that, too. Yeah. And again, that doesn't go for everything, right? Like, that doesn't mean, like, oh, just because you're self-taught, like, you're never going to amount to anything and you're never going to get a job. Like, obviously, that's not what I'm saying. Um, but what I am saying is, like, I, I think I can understand from a business perspective why you wouldn't be willing to take a chance on someone who is essentially saying, hey, bro, trust me, I know what I'm doing, versus someone who has a degree or a credential in the subject because it's like hey bro not only do i know what i'm doing but i have proof that i know what yeah. i'm doing like i have certified authentic proof that i know what i'm doing yeah even though i do know that um like people who are self-taught can be just as good and in some cases i'm sure they're even better than the yeah. people who are who are taught in a school because they're taught to go against the industry standard or against the norm or they're taught to think outside of the box versus um like following a very specific curriculum yuki just said a whole lot hang on there are people that latinos basically say the newest artist Say to newer, newest artist, artists, people, that they aren't artists if they start drawing Dragon Ball, Sonic, Naruto, etc. Thanks to that, a lot of new people don't keep on some sort of discrimination. I was in the victim group. I always like to say, do what you like to do and start from something that you would like to do. It's okay. Thanks to that, I put myself down. I always feel... I always like to draw Sonic, but now I feel like I'm doing wrong, even though I'm not doing anything bad. By the way, to, to be fair, for Yuki's first language is in English, I don't think. I think they said that before. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. No worries, no judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is that, that um old... Uh, my high school art teacher wouldn't let me draw anime <laughs> thing. Which, I mean, I get in the class setting. Because they want you to work on proportions. Like, they want you to go for, like, the basics. And, like, anime is, like, exaggerated. So you end up having... Right? Isn't that, like, the whole thing? I don't know. I've never... I don't remember anything about my high school art class. I, I'm just... I think that's like the gist that I learned from for like why some teachers are like it's cool you draw anime but just don't draw in the class I mean like, it's essentially like teaching. we're drawing landscapes right now that's yeah yeah like yeah exactly like, like we're dude, drawing what landscapes does, what, does, what does Naruto Uzumaki have to do with the beautiful sunset I <laughs> if, if the assignment doesn't specify like, it just says, like, draw something using watercolors, and that's the assignment, and teachers still have an issue with a student drawing anime, then I agree that that teacher's just being an asshole, and you never specified, you just said, like, it had to be watercolor, and you're discriminating on the type of art that I like and I want to make, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but if it's, like, literally going against the assignment, then they are perfectly correct. That's how Ms. Pomonis ran her class, is that, like, I was allowed to draw whatever I wanted under the parameters of the assignment, you know? And when we were doing realism, we had to do realism, you know? How's 
Pomona's doing, by the way, Frida? What? Miss Pomona's. Um, you you know about as much as I do. <laughs> I th I thought you guys talked to each other. I have not spoken to her since like I graduated. Oh. Yeah. She comes in some before when I was doing Instagram live. She would come in once in a while. That's cute. Yeah. Hmm. You know, you're fine for Yuki. We understood what you're trying to say. Trying to explain myself as clear as I can. You know, we're we're fine, and we and we understood, right? Like you, you yeah, guys yeah. understood what Yuki was trying to say. No, yeah, I got it. I understood. No worries, Yuki. How dare you I not be fluent in, my house. in English? <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> How dare you? Everyone should be fluent in English. If you're not this fluent in English, America. what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> this is America. Speak American. Speak American. <laughs> the, the, the internet language is English. How many decks of cards is too many? None! Um... 52. That's funny. You just pull a random number out of your ass. 52 is no, how many cards there are in a deck. Is how many... <laughs> oh. The only reason I know that too is because in high school, specifically Bailey and Diego would take my deck of cards and go, you got to play pick up 52? And my dumb ass would be like, yeah, And you're sure. like, what's that? <laughs> what's that? Sure. Just, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. I, I will never forget that moment, dude. It got you. Stick fucking got you. <laughs> fucking got me, dude. Get wrecked, loser. Who was that boy we called Fish? There was a boy we used to huh? call Pigeon. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot about Fish. Oh my god. I mean, dude, we literally called someone Colgate. Okay, but we were making fun of her. As an insult. Yes, I should. Yeah, no, we insult. were making fun of her by calling her Colgate. Like, why? Why were we calling him Fish? Um, that's a great question. Why was he Fish? I I don't remember, but I do remember a fact about him that I wish I never knew. Is it stream safe? No, it's not stream safe, which is why I'm not saying it. Oh no. Openize your deck of cards. Make them razor sharp. Become an evil magician. Become like that one magician dude in Powerpuff Girls. I don't remember the magician dude from Powerpuff Girls. I remember the that, one from Teen that Titans. Is, that is I do remember dude. Mumbo, I think his name was. Well, Mumbo Jumbo. I don't... I don't remember the one from Teen Titans. I remember the British guy from Teen Titans. Oh, Mad Mod! Mad Mod. <laughs> Mumbo had like blue skin and like skin, a yeah. like a Robin mask, and he was voiced yeah. by Tom Kenny. Really? I yes. I don't know that. I don't remember oh, that. Oh, I forgot about this dude. Yeah, no, the one that I'm thinking of is uh, hold on, uh, uh magician. He's like a- so he literally dies. Oh no. He literally dies and he comes back a zombie in the Powerpuff Girl 1. I was- Whoa. It's- it's crazy how like they got away with that. I'm like, they literally showed his death because he like- gets Mad Mod in, like, somehow so, like... weaponized being British. <laughs> no, you can- come on dude. Being British is a- that's a pretty like- Villainous That's trait. Cringe. I'm gonna. That's I'm a gonna villainous die. trait, in my opinion. Being British, villain. Yeah, no, I I agree. Here, I will. I will put. This British people talk one, funny. But, yeah. British, British people do it. talk funny. I'm sorry. I'm sure that they have tons of accents from the United States to make fun of and be rampant with. But no, nothing no, is. Not nothing. 
nothing is funnier than bottle of water. <laughs> I brother, it's Tuesday. What a bottle? A water bottle. I brother, it's Tuesday. Like n that's funny. That's I'm sorry. <laughs> you're goofy. You're goofy, bro. If that's how you talk, you're you're goofy. I'm good. Especially like Cockney accents and are like, oi, bro, like. <laughs> Oh, shit, oh, like the little, the little paper boy Not the, British accent? Sort of, except, like, I'm making him a little paper boy, but I'm talking about, like, just the Cockney accent in general. They're like, I dad went store, yeah? Like, went store, bought myself a piece of bread. Like, it's just so <laughs> odd. Ew, it's a water boy. Oh, God, speaking of boys. Ew, it's a, sure it's a water boy, boy, not even a British boy. Water boy. I'm back, baby. I'm I went. I'm back for my walk. I'm here. I did it. I lived went for a little bit of a walk. A little walk. A walkie talkie. A walkie talkie. Frida, are you free at four tomorrow? Do you want to play Minecraft with me and Sophie? Uh, Frida's not I... allowed to play. She's a griefer. <laughs> that <laughs> oh. and I have a squilla. That's fine. I, that's why I asked. <laughs> that's why I'm like, yeah, that and us. <laughs> I, I am, in banned. fact, a pretty bad griefer. Oh, no. This is why I don't play multiplayer games that involve actual teamwork. For I will grief. She will. Like, she just does I, it. Like, I it's let natural for her. I let my intrusive thoughts win every time. I'm just every sorry. Playing I, overcooked. I, will see, I will see your house, and I will put... Monkey DNA brain has taken over. over yeah, and she'll I just blow go, it up. Dude, what if this was exploded? Like, she'll blow it up just for fun. Like, yeah. for no other reason other will, than it's I will fun. wait for you to AFK and then dig under you and make a lava pit. She will. Like, she's awful. It's hilarious. For you. <laughs> I. That's why I said, like, no, I can't. I let, I let my... My, no, my, no, my, my goodness, goodness, British goodness. people don't goodness. exist. It's just an elaborate play with a bunch of actors. No sane person eats beans on toast. Beans. Okay, so beans. they eat like sweet beans on toast, okay? Yeah, that's different. It's sweet. Like, Can we talk about this? Because if you gave me, like, because Mexicans, dude, all, all of fucking Latin America does this shit, okay? Refried beans yeah. on toast, normal. Fine. Normal. Okay. Very normal. I, I wasn't imagining baked beans. I was imagining like fucking like kidney beans on toast. No, they eat like isn't I thought their beans are like sweet. They eat like baked beans. Yeah, they're like yeah, baked don't they beans. Eat, like, like Heinz beans? like Heinz baked beans from a can. That is say, both better Heinz and beans? worse at the same time. Yeah, like, no, I was I was imagining baked, just like straight yeah, they kidney eat, beans. They eat Heinz baked beans. Yeah, it's just uh, b b beans. It's beans. beans. <laughs> it's beans. Frida, how are yeah. your beans? Do you still have them? Are you still the keeper yeah. of beans? <laughs> <laughs> it's been four hey. years. It's been four long years. And I continue to be the keeper of the beans. <laughs> beans. The bean of the keeper. <laughs> when will you be free the of, of the beans? beans. Come and eat my beans, please. They're <laughs> under my bed. <laughs> when will you I'm be okay? You gen genuine I'm question. When will all. you be free of the beans? I'm, I'm begging you all. Please come over and eat <laughs> from the beans from under my bed. <laughs> you know, are they any good? Um, they're just uncooked. Probably taste like beans. Frida. Ugh, you, never mind. Just... you know what? I don't need. I don't need more Frida in my life. Thank you very much. I'm good. They're yeah. just uncooked Frida pinto flavored. beans. Like if you want Frida. uncooked pinto beans, then sure. I don't Go ahead. Have our our dog gotta... discussion, uh, Frida. Like I think uh, Noel and Mona need to become best friends. I don't. I don't. I'm be honest. I don't think Mona cares for him. Whoa! Because... Does she care? Does she care for you, Noel? Because she doesn't care for me. She's different. She doesn't think I exactly. Exist. Exactly. No. This is that's how what this dog does with everyone. She's like, she goes, "Oh, new person, that's crazy. 
She said, that's wild. <laughs> that's crazy. I, she, she, she said, don't care, didn't ask. She's literally a cat dog. She's literally sleeping right now. Cat dog. Cat dog. <laughs> she literally said, don't care, didn't ask. Literally. That's that's her attitude. Unless you're food. Oh, you have and she's like, don't care. care. She, she said, do she's care. Like, Still do didn't care. ask. But you don't have food? Don't care. What if I am food? Whoa. Then you'll, she'll eat you. Hell yeah. Attention gained. Let's go. But then Attention once you're, she's done gained. eating you, then she'll like forget about you, dude. Oh. Well, can't attention. win them all. At least he's being digested and can't worry about that. Yeah. Like he got what he wanted. He got the attention at the cost of his life. Of his foodie life. His foodie life. My fruity life. Not your fruity, fruity, fruity life. life. Your fruity. Oh. Whoa. Fruity. Fruity. I was gonna say something, but like <laughs> all of us just I love our I love Slay, our what's it called? Fruity. What's it called? Our echo or I think it's called Echo Lalia, where it's oh, like Oh yeah, you... where you copy what people <laughs> say around you. <laughs> it's literally us. So here's a here's another uh question from my little anime podcast questions thing. Entertainment versus quality. Which one is more important when viewing an anime? Do you care more about being entertained or watching a quality show? I mean, quality so, show. Uh, depends on the genre. That's a hard uh, one. Yeah, because I think for me it depends on the day, because sometimes I'm down for some trash. Sometimes yeah. I like shows that are just kind of unapologetically trashy and we're just here to have fun. Yeah, I like movies. Sometimes I want to watch a bad movie. No, for mm -hmm. real. Like, yeah, like, like, I've watched The Room too many times to say... Yeah, no, The Room is pure entertainment, no is... quality. Oh, yeah. Dude, my teacher loves The Room, and he keeps on showing his scenes <laughs> from The Room of, like... <laughs> <laughs> of basically, like... All right, guys, so this is this type of shot... Oh my god! And it's like a wide shot, and he's like, and it's like the room at the room part where he goes into like the freaking uh, flower shop, and he goes, a "Dozen roses, please." He goes, "Hi, Johnny." I didn't know it was you. <laughs> That's me. Hello, doggy. Oh, the hello, doggy. Just like the random pug sitting on the counter that is not noticed until he says, "Example: Dragon Ball Super." Yeah. And things I are just fun. Super. I only saw, I only watched Kai, and uh, GT. Never got the super. Probably should. Damn. The only thing I know about super is that, um, unfortunately, they uh, kind of fucked up on the dub. Because there is a basically an evil Goku, and he is called Black Goku. Oh, Black! Yeah. Oh my God! They go, don't shoot. He's not black. Yeah, they go, he don't. No, the literal line is, don't shoot. That man's not that's black. black. That's, yep. And I'm just like, ooh, they 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 should have kept the Goku part. They should have kept the Goku part. Yeah, no, that was that was that was such an oversight. Like Yeah. We have 15 minutes left. Ah. We're already at the end of stream? Yeah, so, I mean, look at the time. Oh, no way. 
feel like we haven't been here Daylight that long. Daylight savings, bro. <laughs> Dang. It's already getting dark. Oh man, what's going on? <clears throat> Are we good? Yeah. <laughs> I guess that like five times. I was like, oh, I, I mean, uh, what's happening? Just like it, just slightly, like not cropped correctly. Mm -mm. Honestly, I'm more on, or I'm on more entertainment because I want to have a good moment. Example, Dragon Ball Super. See why DBS isn't the best quality, but awesome on fun, even though that phrase isn't that bad in Spanish because it's the same thing, but the, Eng but the name keeps in English. So there isn't a confusion of Goku Black. What's the, what's his name in Spanish? I'm scared. Yeah, we... wouldn't it just be Goku Negro? I mean, yeah, I was. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, oh, it's not even that much better in Spanish. Unless they say like Goku Obscuro or something like that. Obscuro. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Oh, do they have it, like, black, like the English word in Spanish? Um, no. I guess it's, it's like a name. It's the thing. same, it's the same thing in, like, English as Spanish, you know what I mean? Like, if you No, I don't know what you mean. So gonna... The same way how it's bad to say, like, don't shoot, he's not black, is this, is equally just as bad in Spanish. <laughs> I just don't- I just don't understand how they didn't think of that. <laughs> like... I know, I don't understand either, dude. It's crazy. Especially because, like, again, like, it could've- they could've just said, like, don't shoot, that's not Goku. Like, the fact that they're like, don't shoot, he's not black. like, what do you mean? <laughs> Explain yourself now. Never. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, see Goku Squirrel. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, like that's not bad. Yeah, kind of was like, wouldn't it just be Goku Negro? But yeah, it makes sense. Peter, can you read the the next thing that Fuyuki put in in chat? It's it's basically the same way. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's, 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 it's exactly what we said. Oh no. Don't shoot, he's not black. I don't know why, but I really want to make music videos, but I have nowhere to start. Find a way eventually, though. Noel, this is this is oh. your time to shine. Noel, Noel, this just, is your time. Right. You want to make music videos? Just get a, just get a, so. a camera. You want to like make in, music? Like like animated or like live action? Cause I'm about to say, dude, just literally grab your phone. <laughs> grab your phone and film. I'm, ass I'm assuming Chooser is is an artist. They put like, I mean I mean I mean like they're more interested in like animation because animation. like they they draw and like they put like you know they're here <laughs> on a on a art on a art focused uh, channel you know what I mean. How oh, dare you make assumptions, Jesse? That's it. I'm telling. Oh. Finally. The way the scream dies. <laughs> Live action, get fucking wrecked, nerds. Oh, oops. Yeah, no, straight up, didn't just don't show. You. Yeah, you don't have to show your face, dude. But like, just just like grab your phone and film. Like, you can. That's the great thing about like music videos is like, 
Low budget. They're all low budget, dude. And they can still be very good. Like low budget. I think the low budget can oh, like yeah. add to it, right? You know, depends on what you're doing. But... Oh yeah, hundred percent. Because like we were just talking about this in my class like last Wednesday. Um, so like for example, like as like did a music video, but she literally all she did was she went driving around and had her sister film her while she was driving, and she just sang her song like the words to it like three times. That was it. Hmm. I was watching a video earlier that was talking about, like, the history of YouTuber music and why it seems to always be really bad. Uh, and their conclusion was, at first it started ironic, like, it was all just, like, goofy parody songs. And then people started to get serious about it, but it was, like, mostly egotistical assholes who were doing it. And so I that's why. Oh. Yeah. Exactly! Exactly. That was one of his main, like... <laughs> But it was every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Mm-hmm. I have Mill on YouTube. Something, something. It, Talks it about, like, my Gabby Hanna and, like, Rice <laughs> Gum. Spicy. Which is funny, because I think that Gab- Like, if we're gonna be talking about bad, like, YouTuber music, I don't think that Gabby Hanna's music is that bad. Like, I've only it, heard one least... song, and I kind of liked it. Yeah, like, I think- I think- not that one. That is not the one I heard. And again, that song is bad because her singing is is not as good. It was just like, the mic change they did for that. They did it really dirty with that. And that's only for like the the because of the, the actual genius, music. Yeah. yeah, like the actual video. Yeah, but like even in general, like her singing was not very good. That's when she was first starting out to sing. But like by the time she. She, like, you know, did voice coaching and stuff, and... Because, like, what I like about her music is I like that her music has story to it. Like, I just generally tend to like music that isn't just, like... And don't get me wrong, I do love music that's, like, fuck that hoe in the butt, you know? Like, <laughs> I like that kind of music, too, but I appreciate that Gabby Hanna's music is not... Yeah, there's a little more substance to it. Yeah, like, it has boring. substance to it. Mm -hmm. We listen to Dan TDM's lo fi song. Didn't didn't know Dan TDM had a song. Chippy chippy oh. chappa chappa. <laughs> Well, why are you orange? You why are you blue? You're not, you're not <laughs> orange, you're blue. Oh, well, I'm just trying to- Also, I can't see- Is it- Is it- Did I pause the stream? Is it- No, but you're- You're drawing yourself, and you're- No, you're yellow! Oh god, hold on, oh, it's, not, what's that? it's not showing up on stream. Oh, I guess you're looking through Discord. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I was- Oh yeah, this- Oh, now it's on- Well, now it's- it? it was- It was there, and now it went away. Uh-oh. Let me refresh. Why are you- why are you yellow? I'm just farting around with stuff. I mean, I'm trying to- I've been blue! Why aren't you blue? No, why I'm... aren't you blue? No! Banned from other colors. Apparently. Why are you not blue? Jesus Christ, stop being blue, I'll make myself blue, goddamn. I'm right blue. now! Do it right now! Die. 
Are you happy? If I was green, I Hi, would Trizer. die. If I was green, I was die. Also, Frida, I have uh, I have ideas. Ideas are bubbling. Okay. Uh, no, this is for later. This is for, like summer. Oh, okay. EP, EP, EP survival horror EP. I don't know what cool visuals that I make. Maybe that'd be kind of fun. Okay. Cool. Love that's Latina it, Sonic. Cool. I freaking love hey, art hose. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Do you guys oh, remember? That? <laughs> Do you remember that video? Dude, you're scaring away. To... No, not that. that too. Oh yes, there is also that one, yeah. but that's not the one I was talking about. <laughs> I got a carrot! I got a carrot! I like- I, I also, dude, I saw the one you reposted today on TikTok that I miss my wife tails. <laughs> I miss my <laughs> wife tails. Chippy chapa chapa. Dooby dooby da ba da ba. Da. Dooba dee. Dooba da. You would pee on a guy? Uh, maybe, I would you know? pee on a guy. Maybe I will. That's not an answer I appreciate, but I feel like maybe I will. Uh, uh, maybe I, will. Uh, uh, I mean, hey! Oh, uh, up here's the story. Why can't you just let Noel? <laughs> Why can't I just be Cody? Cody's me, bro. <laughs> Why can't you just like me be me? What's the line? I forgot what the actual line was. Then I remember existed, remembered existed today, the, uh, so caught up in the euphoria of having all this apple juice, that for a minute I lived in a world where racism didn't exist. I love that one. God, like, being caught up in so... the euphoria of things. You make it so hard for me to hold back my your mom jokes. <laughs> God. God. Say it. God it's damn it. No, I can't. I can't. He'll tell on me. <laughs> they don't get a text. I'm calling my mom. Don't call my mom. I still, that's still the funniest thing. Don't call my mom. We, Frida and I constantly live under the threat of one of us calling my mom. <laughs> it, it is a pretty, pretty bad threat. It can be quite traumatizing. You know, who's wearing Tifa's stupid skirt thing? This guy. <laughs> Her pose. I thought we were going for the muscle men. My mom. Hello, cousin. Ow. Ow, why are you so grim? <laughs> what the? Why what the? So Stop Sal? judging Sal. Why are we all judging each other all of a sudden? <laughs> I was curious. <laughs> First, Noel can't pee on a guy. <laughs> now, Sal can't be grim. <laughs> Sal, why are you such a pal? Why are you such a pal? <laughs> I love the line, Noel can't pee on a guy. 
No. But first, <laughs> Noel can't be on a guy. Now, Sal can't be grim. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? What's the backstory? Maybe they just, they just had a bad day. So you had I think a being bad grim day. is just cool. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, I'm not cool, so like, I'm, I'm, I'm not always wet, but like, yeah. <laughs> Huh? I'm not always wet? Is that what you just said? Huh? <laughs> what did he say? I regret everything. I said nothing. My music stopped. Did I run out of Diamond Rampa? No, I haven't. It's You're just I'm having things? a hard time. This is a long ass OST. Yeah, you can it. never run out of, of Diamond Rampa music. Yeah, There's no, I'm, so much I have of it. three games worth, and I can even play Rain Code music if I, I'm feeling dude, frisky. Dude, I think, like, a good 25% of my playlist is just Dong and Ropa that music. Awesome? There's so, so it many songs. It plays daily. It plays daily on that playlist, dude. At least one song plays. Choosers back. Minimum one song daily, dude. Your daily dose of Dong and Rampa? Yep. Daily dose. So D D O D. Hey, they're pretty. They're D -D pretty good soundtracks. Daisy Grimm is my persona persona's nickname. Persona. Let me see, persona. I was no. yeah, I was gonna make that joke. I was literally gonna make that joke. <laughs> I was like, persona? You mean your fursona? <laughs> Kinda cringe, don't you think? I, I like that if you have a if your fursona is a cat, does it wrap back around to being a persona? A persona uh, that's uh, <laughs> uh, a good one. Uh, Can't lie. That one that, that was that was funny. That was a funny haha. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's time and I have to dip because I have to go eat dinner. Have fun with your Oh, yes, it's, it's not bur <laughs> It's taquitos tonight, actually. Taquitos? You little taquitos water boy. You again. silly little water boy. It's taquitos tonight. I'm, over a burger. I'm coming over on Thursday. I'm inviting myself. No, you're not. Okay. And it's Wednesdays and I'm not even going to be here, so joke's on you. Oh, you're right, crap. You know More what? burgers okay. for Noel. Life's not worth living, goddamn. I'm leaving. He just comes and takes all your burgers as you guys make them. You wanna, you, you wanna replace me? You want, you want my experience to deal with They think I'm kind of fun. If you just, if you just wear like a, a longer wig. Truzer, the answer to that question is they're called scalies. Yeah, lizards are. Oh god, the oh, Abuki yeah, song is playing right now. Bye, oh. bye, Frida. Or free to channel. It's been cancelled. <laughs> About time. It's like about him. time. <laughs> it's about damn time. In a minute, I'm gonna need a cinnamon or mendelman to put me in a scene. Fucking in my Balencia scenes. Gotta bring out the bag of looks. I think I got the, the vision with this gal. I kind of... I think she's cool. It's like, oh yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. Can I, I appreciate Chaos's, like, thoroughness, where he's like, I'm gonna send you 45 references. Like, please. Thank you. Even, like, I'll, I'll show you, he, like, he's, like, circling shit. <laughs> I put it in sharing. This is this is what I want. When you commission me and you yeah. don't have a picture, this is what I want. Yeah, that's a pretty good like depiction. Just to be like, I want this. I want this. I don't want this. Whoa, I'm impressed. Mhm. Mm My freaking stream goes. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, we have like five more minutes left of sh of stream. All right, would you would you say this is done? The the Gary one. I, I have some like minor like defects I need to fix. Uh, I'll wait for the YouTube stream to catch up. Yeah, I mean he's got blood. He's got color. He colored it. It's got shading. Hmm. I feel like it. I mean, yeah, the character's done. Yeah. All right. See the the budge. Unless the budge isn't important, it's just a kid. The the budge is not important. Right, I was not please. paid for budge. I, you do not get budge. <laughs> budge. No budge. No budge. An artist. <laughs> Lack of budge. Lack of budge. No budget, no budge. <laughs> hey. This is like something stupid I would say. No budget. <laughs> no budget, no budge. No guts, no glory. No budget, no budge. Oh, when I say it fast, it just sounds like... <laughs> I'm just saying like a wizard spell. <laughs> I cast... The Brazilian Wax! <laughs> I like the the I cast testicular torsion. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Oh, well, I don't know what I'm drawing, but it looks pretty freaking neat. <laughs> <laughs> I cast, I cast, I'm done saying what I'm going to cast. <laughs> Especially like the artist who seems to be drawing all of these memes and yes, you also see like that person. <laughs> Punky Doodles, I think is his name mm -hmm. or something. Their art style is so great. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's a good They're one. They're really good at drawing old wizards. <laughs> what, a, what a great niche to be in. <laughs> the old wizard drawers. What I wouldn't <laughs> give to be in this niche. Oh, Sophie, did you ever see... Uh... It was, it was like this like fake like beer commercial on like Twitter. It was like my... <laughs> it's made by hobs that are collected by my owls in the forest. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then like the the artists like put out like a, a version without any uh any voice acting and they were like, go ahead, like <laughs> do whatever you want with it. And then someone I have no idea who they were talking about, but just the 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 sheer like hatred and like screaminess because like the first thing that happens in the animation is like the wizard like pops out of the bush and like shouts something at this random boy and so this like the 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 meme version is this like he pops out of the the bush and he's like i grew up <laughs> like, really fucking loud i don't, oh I don't even know God. who he's talking about it's just like the sheer like passion in the, his performance was what I thought was funny. It's made by hops collected by my little owls in the forest. <laughs> All right, I'm basically done working, so I'm kind of just <laughs> waiting for it to be. I I need one minute to pass <laughs> for it to be three hours. <laughs> Can't be short even one minute. You hear? <laughs> Where the heck is my sword? Found it. God, <laughs> it was so hard. Yeah, bye, Julius. You can't leave us. I'll be here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we'll play my craft. Yeah. My craft. I will watch. My craft. Mince wrap. Mince wrap. Ah, 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 it's three hours. All right. We leaving. <laughs> Damn, the stupid bye. sheep come back. Say bye, guys. Bye! Bye! Goodbye.
Rook is My craft is goaded. So is the rock is safe! 